Hey, yo, folks. Can you hear me okay? Hello, hello? Wait, did audio die? Hang on. Something's wrong. What was that? <laughs> okay, there we go. Something, something funky happening. Hello? How y'all doing, folks? Pokemon Black and White 2 is the best Pokemon game ever made, in my personal opinion, and we are finally playing it. I'm excited! It's Nuzlocke Round 2, and we're playing the full game. We're gonna do post-game extras. We're gonna spend a lot of time. Welcome to the next few weeks of streams! I hope everyone enjoys it, I hope you're all excited! Ah, oh, we'll give people a chance to hop on in before we get started for realsies. You're all very welcome. You're all very welcome. The audio is skipping and lagging, is it? Is the audio okay? Just making sure before we get started. This is a little loud. I, I, tur I turned it down a little bit there, so it should hopefully be okay. One guy again. It's one guy. Yep. It's always one guy. This is the Peter Molyneux, Molyneux Pokemon game. <laughs> hey, Lama, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, basically. This is what they made after Fable, you know? Ah, God. Yeah, you're all very welcome to the stream. We are playing this the next while. We are playing Nuzlocke rules. Uh, our Nuzlocke rules are very purist. We will go over this once we start. Um, but essentially, first Pokemon you catch on every route is the one you get. If Pokemon faints, it's dead forever. No items in battle, once again, too. We are, we are keeping that from Pokemon Black and White. And there's some extra things that will happen in this one, too, where it's a bit funky. There's a notable exception to the capture clause, because you can catch a different trainer's Pokemon. We'll have to explain what's going on there as it approaches. Um, and there is a challenge mode in this game, which will be enabled as the run continues. This, this, this one has a lot of stuff going on in it, yep. If you've never played this, uh, you're in for a treat of a game. I hope people are excited for it. We will start in a moment, and I'll explain Nuzlocke rules and that, and we'll go through exceptions. This is going to be a combination of Nuzlocke and a full Let's Play of the entire game. There will be a point where we decide to cut the Nuzlocke. It'll either be after the champion or after a particular different trainer. And there's actually quite a few to choose from for an end goal for this. It's not just one. You actually have a lot of different options. Uh, but it'll be a while before we get there anyway. Okay? So we'll see how we're doing. It's a case where we may simply have to retire the Nuzlocke after a certain point, because everything's dead. <laughs> like... What's with the time in the 3DS? I... It's always Bloomsday, don't mind it. I don't know. <laughs> it's been doing that. Happy Bloomsday. Not quite yet. But yeah, you're all very welcome to the stream. Bill, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Ava, thank you for 1,400 bits. My Gen 5 games arrived last week. Little I know that was a sign. Good luck, RT. Thank you. Bill, thank you again there as well. Thank you to everyone who's subbing. Thank you for the hype train. We're going to gear up in three minutes. Um, And we'll go through, again, we're going to go through everything we have going for this. We're playing on physical hardware, which is very important to note because this actually gives us some very cool features. Specifically with the last game. We have a thing called Memory Link that actually unlocks game content based on if you play Pokemon Black and White. Including things like importing your trainer. So the name failure is actually going to crop up in this game. Um, so we have, there's actually a lot of cool stuff because of that. Um, I, I'm excited for that and to kind of showcase some of it. No candy pill. No, I have to. I have to manually grind uh, encounters, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, 
Uh, my, thank you for a thousand bits. When I first played my copy of White 2, I spent about 10 minutes with headphones on to savor the intro music. High quality, <laughs> thank you. Still, thank you for another 1500. Alright, we'll get to the character name. I, I think I already know what I want to do and what the name and scheme is. Oh, God. Yan's gonna be pissed. <laughs> How's it going, man? <laughs> a shout out in advance to Pokemon Challenges. We'll get that in as we go along. Um, months down the line, he will be here. It's 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 part of like just the community thing at this point. <laughs> How's it going, man? Hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's funny, though. Okay, let's stop the fake intro music. Let's cut the DS capture. It's going to look a little funky for a moment just because I have different settings and it resets some stuff. It's no signal. Don't mind it. And then it comes on back and I have to adjust this audio slider before it deafens you all. Pick up my actual DS. Okay, can you see and hear it okay? Oh, it's been so long since I've last played this. Unova Round 2. In my opinion, this is the best Pokemon game ever made. And I'm so excited. Pokemon Black 2. Let's go. So, right off the bat, a couple of things. Memory Link is on. I've set that up. We can do a quick mic test if we want for our cross transceiver if we want. <laughs> so let's dive on into it. I will explain some rules as we go to. Hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Okay, now sound check. Sound check. Is it good? Is it good? Not too loud? Not too quiet? It's good? Wonderful. Thank you, gang. Oh, it's Chinchino. I haven't seen him in forever. We might actually get one of these. This is like an event one in the game. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon are mysterious powers that come in many shapes and live in many different places. The humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together, complement each other. They help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. And Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular. It deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. That is why I research Pokemon. Enough for me, could you tell me about yourself? Okay. So, we had the story of failure, where everything went wrong in his life, and everyone just expected to be a disappointment and he barely triumphed. It's time for the story of success. And the name and scheme this time is that of Triumph. That's how you spell success, isn't it? I'll just make sure I don't I haven't got this wrong. Yep. Yeah. Your name is success. <laughs> there's there's no pressure on this Nuzlocke ride. It's like, oh, you're gonna just win instantly, right? What a wonderful name. Tell me a little about your friend, the older boy who lives nearby. Would you mind telling me his name? Oh, we do actually get the name of I I forgot. I, I thought he was just gonna be named Hugh by default. What do we, what do we want to call him? Now we can't call him failure. 
Because failure is actually going to come up as a character name. We can't. We only get seven characters. Mediocrity does not fish. Just call him a loser. No, that's just that's just mean. Hubris. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I I think I I think I see what the answer is gonna be though. <laughs> Such a mean name. Average? Did I get that right? Yeah, it's more or less sums them up. Success! I'm going to entrust you with a Pokemon. I'm sure you'll be great partners. The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. On your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you learn what is important to you as a result of your travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. The most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. It's summer. Important. It's hot out. Game Freak presents. Pokemon Black version 2. They've always got a bit more cinematic with presentation, not even in black and white. And so, they're very much continuing it. I think this is one of the last games to ever release on the Nintendo DS, too. 3DS was well out at this point. My dream for a remaster of this game is to have it, like, the graphics preserve the sprite work. And it's like Octopath Traveler style game. 47 rats, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Thank you so much. I lost my glasses, I'm out of contact lenses, but your content always helps me. Not sure what's up with this new character voice, but keep up the good work, germ. <laughs> Alright, listen here, you little shit, right? <laughs> Thank you for the 50 quid, you're on thin fucking ice. Oh dear. Germa986. <laughs> Just, it just sounds wrong. We're gonna grab that beast. It's not quite the same. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Aria. Oh, I forget. I forget her first name is Aria. It's been far too long. What can I do for you? I have Pokedex for my child. That's great. I think the journey will be a wonderful experience. But now she's already here. For Pete's sake, you never change. Thank you again, 47, for the 5,000 bits. Thank you very much. Once you decide on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. Got it. Okay, no worries. Success, I'm home. Here's our living quarters. We don't have a separate room in that. It all kind of just merges. Now, I'm going to very quickly save the game because there's something fucking hilarious I want to show you off the bat. I think this still works. Success, save the game. You know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. She, she's an old friend of mine. She called today for the first time in ages. It's out of the blue, but success! You want to have a Pokemon? No. But that's a shock! I'll ask you again. Do you want a Pokemon? No. I'll ask you again, do you- Oh no, I did it wrong! If you keep saying no, the game actually does reset. This game actually does reset and you just go back to bed. It's the only game that actually has that mechanic in it and I messed it up. I've already ruined it. You can actually just keep saying no, and your mom's like, okay, and the game just ends. It's it's very stupid. I've I've already I've already failed the run. I'm not gonna reset just because it takes a while to do. You know what a Pokedex is? Yes, I knew you would. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records Pokemon you encounter? 
Yeah, another question. You are the Pokedex, right? No. <laughs> I don't mean to be selfish, but I'd like it to be a bit more agreeable. Having a Pokedex means traveling around the world. Think about that for a second. No. Maybe I can save it. No. I think it only works on the first question. Yeah, I think it only works on the first one. So we have to continue from here. Success, your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca has come here to meet you. Professor Juniper's assistant, I was told to simply look for a big green hat. That's right, you're going to look for Bianca. Then you get a Pokedex and Pokemon to be your partner. Cross transceivers in your bag, right? You know how to open your bag? Yeah, sure thing. So, timeline-wise, this is two years after the events of Pokemon Black and White. Model of a Ferris wheel mom bought us a souvenir. The Darabak Pokemon doll mom received in the past. You get knocked down, just get up again. A couple of options things. Fast. Battle style set. Confirm. That's just quality of life. Here's our trainer ID. What number did we get? Can I see what number I got? Normally there, ain't it? 25337. Cool. We have a nature? Did we? Nature Hardy. I think you get to set that. I think you do get to set that. It might just default the Hardy. Hey, success. It's our rival average. You get a Pokemon yet? Yeah. There are any Pokemon trainers around here? I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon, really? Average is sister. <laughs> sister average. If you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? It's just the average sister, yeah. Let's go see your Pokemon. It's something I have to do. To do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. Right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you got good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye-bye, success. Alright, let's go find that person named Bianca. Let's go. Uh, so this game's intro is actually quite quick, uh, in particular with the first town. Uh, that's the first gym, I believe? It's just in your start in town. Everything, like, is kind of, like, designed to get you moving a little bit faster in this one. Still don't get the shoes for some reason, but we will. Oh, I get it. This outlook is Aspergia's most famous spot. Bianca's up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon ready. How is it going? So pretty. Yeah, hey, don't you agree? My name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor, Professor Juniper. But Bianca, you might remember, was your rival from the first game. Uh, she now just works for Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Success? That's me. <laughs> Very full of myself. Your success. Oh, you're exactly like what I heard. Nice to meet you. A really important request to ask you. Can you help us complete the Pokedex? Sure. Support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filming the Pokedex is totally fun. Okay then, ta-da, and here is the Pokemon that will be your partner. It's got our options. I like to think this is like a moment of quite heavy character development. Uh, because there's no contest as to which starter we're picking, it's absolutely got to be Oshawa. He's the best one by far. <laughs> Considering how we start at Pokemon Black and White, uh, Oshawa has actually grown on me so damn much, and I love him. There, there's no contest. It's Oshawa. You and Oshawa are a perfect match. So I'd like to give a nickname to the Pokemon you chose. So again, the name and scheme this time is Success. We had all Pokemon last time nicknamed around the team of Failure. 
Um... What was Ashawat's name before was Mistake, wasn't it? It was Mistake before. So, this Ashawat is gonna be correct. Correct, is that the nickname you want? Yeah, uh, yes. Yes, it is. Correct! <laughs> it's like I'm answering her questions. You got it right! You got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too, a Pokedex. Success received the Pokedex. I know what it does. Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. Professor Juniper wants to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. Doom, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Hey, how long are you planning to keep me waiting anyway? What's that? That's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. Got it? What's that you're holding there? Pokedex. Please give me a Pokedex too. I want to get stronger. Average wants to be at least above average. He's doing his best. Who are you again? I'm average. I'm gonna travel the Unova region with my part Pokemon partner in order to search for something very important. I'm okay at best. Well, okay, I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happened to have a little Pokedex on me. It's like Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years ago. The more the merrier. His rival is kind of mid, unfortunately, so the name is appropriate. Something that's not mid, though, is his battle theme. It, it's actually a bop. Let's see how good of a trainer you are. Use my Snivy that I raised from an egg. Success versus average, who's gonna come out on top? A lot of notable differences from black and white. All trainers now have animation sprites. It's actually something that wasn't a thing in black and white. We're already moving up. Let's get him correct. The, the soundtrack in this game is one of the best just in the entire series. Beat on into him. Tail if he used a status move. Well, it makes sense. We were planning for the crit. And there we go. You get you get a freebie to start off with. Now, something important to say here, okay? So this is something that I tried to set up, and this is going to be just a little tangent we're going to go on. I wanted to do this run on challenge mode, and I've actually played this copy of the game all the way through. Basically, when you beat the Elite Four, you get a thing called the challenge key that actually makes every battle harder. To the extent that that rival battle in challenge mode, the Snivy's actually level 7 and has a super effective move against you. Now, the reason we're not playing on challenge mode is because it turns out that to transfer a key challenge key into a copy of Black 2, you specifically need to have two copies of Pokemon Black 2. I tried to transfer the key to Pokemon White 2, right? Which I did. But White 2 cannot transfer the key to a new copy of Black 2, which is really fucking stupid. The easiest way to get challenge mode from the start is to simply hack and just cheat it into the game with an action replay, <laughs> which is a shame. Now, it kind of works out either way, though, because if you actually do turn on challenge mode as well, um, you're going to be getting way more XP across the board. The game is going to be harder because stuff is higher levels, but you also gain more XP. So arguably, it kind of balances out in a weird way. The compromise we are going to do is essentially we're going to play the standard game and then turn on challenge mode post-elite 4. 
It's the only way we can do it because I actually did try to get it set up. And again, we're on physical hardware for this. So yeah, I, I just want to give a rundown of it. I even tried to revive my old action replay from Nintendo DS. It did not work. I had one back in the day. That's how I got challenge mode back in the day. <laughs> Didn't work. So we gave it an honest go. But yeah, it, it's just kind of, it's just, I want to just kind of address that off the bat. We'll have challenge mode from post Elite Four. So don't worry, we will still get it. It's very frustrating how they set it up. Yeah. Anyway. I lost, this is different than battling with wild Pokemon. Whatever, I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Well, I'm heading off first, get stronger. Uh, and that is the entire personality trait of our rival average. <laughs> get used to it, gang. You're gonna be seeing it a lot. Pokemon of both sides did their best, but this little one is still weak, so battle with it and make it stronger. Alrighty, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. If you put Challenge Mode on White 2, why not play on that one? Because I actually want to keep my copy of White 2 intact. Um, it's one of my favorite games, and I don't want to start erase my progress in that. That's why. I tried it, basically. I already had the key in that one. I got it, like, way back in the day, too. It just does- I can't- couldn't transfer it to my copy of Black 2, specifically. It's weird. It's a weird Nintendo moment. I don't get it. But I tried, you know. Pokemon Center is the same no matter where you are. Let's go inside. Okay, I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center heals free. Are you able to back up saves? I'm playing on physical hardware. Okay, we get a Pokemon Center. We get our PC. This is all your tutorial rundown. You all know the drill here. Shops are back. It's all integrated. This was, this was a time before shops became uh, petrol stations in the wild. Okay, these Pokeballs, follow me. Okay, we're gonna get a, a rundown of Nuzlocke rules in a moment, because it's actually gonna start, I think. Are we gonna get our shoes, too, so we can move? Nice to meet you, you must be Bianca, right? And success picked Oshawa, then. Looking good. I almost forgot. Pick these the running shoes. I can move. Perfect fit, I'll read the instructions to you. Pull the B button to run faster than normal, put on the running shoes and race around. Happy days. Some a gift from Average's sister as well. Here's a map. It's pretty average. Average item get. Why are there two town maps? I want you to give the other one to my big brother. The idea is, is, is a single road to the ocean. Having a town map is always nice. When you use a town map, you know all about what the Unova region's like. But you guys just watching this makes me happy. I'm headed for Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch Pokemon. Take Oshawa and go see many different Pokemon and people with your own eyes. So we're just we're just going into the world. Like this one starts quite fast, which is just nice. I like it when games just chuck you into it. You're getting like very basic tutorial mechanics set up, and it's like go, have fun. Here with Oshawa. Okay, this is a going away gift. Don't be shy. Take it. Have some healing. Pokemon get hurt. Take it easy and go to a Pokemon Center. Come on this way. Phil, thank you very much. I haven't just yet. I, w I will, though. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the bits. Good to have you here as ever. Kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. Okay, here's how it works. Pokedex pages fill up automatically when you meet Pokemon. If you catch Pokemon, more detailed information on it is added to the Pokedex. Okay, I'll, show I'll show you how to catch Pokemon starting now. So, this obviously does not count for our encounter. This is a catching tutorial. So this this isn't part of it. Don't 
There are some huge differences in this game compared to Black and White, though, that are actually worth talking about. Uh, Pokemon Black and White was quite notable for only having new Pokemon available. They retconned that in Black and White, too. It is now a mix of Pokemon again, and there's over 300 available. Some early ones from the offset are Mareep and Riolu are available. So they've changed it quite significantly with the pool of Pokemon. So you'll definitely feel the effect of that as we go through the game. There's going to be just a lot of new options. There's a lot of noticeable standouts too. One of the best things you can get is simply a Growlithe with Intimidate. That's something we'll be keeping an eye out for. Thank you as ever, Phil. Thank you. The relief, I caught a Pokemon. Alright, I'll go over the important stuff. We'll find a healthy Pokemon to catch. You need to remember this next bit. Best to lower the Pokemon's HP before you try to catch it. Use your Pokemon's move to lower the HP of the Pokemon you want to catch. You can fall asleep with Paralyzing, it'll make it even easier to catch. You're going to deliver the town map to your friend, right? Continue straight this way to get the Flockacy town. Bye now, meet lots of Pokemon and catch a lot of them, okay? And we're loose. We're loose, that's it. Game set up. Go, go. So, welcome to the Pokemon Black and White 2 Nuzlocke. Let's go over our Nuzlocke rules. If a Pokemon faints, it's dead forever. I'm only allowed to catch the first Pokemon on each route and use it on my team. A dupes clause is in effect, so if the encounter I get is a Pokemon I've previously caught, or from that evolution family, I am allowed to catch another Pokemon on that route. We are playing our battles in set mode, and we are not allowed to use items in battle. Uh, shout out to Yan there. How's it going, man? On potential Nuzlocke review. Hope you're well. We are playing that and continuing that on from Pokemon Black and White. It added a significant degree of challenge. Now, this is, we're doing a Nuzlocke run. We're also doing a Let's Play of it, though. There is one noticeable exception to the catch clause that I just want to establish now, and this is purely for a playing experience. There is another trainer's Pokemon that you catch in this game. We'll explain this later with the memory link. I'm not allowed to use that trainer's Pokemon because I can't nickname them and they're not my Pokemon. Okay, I'm not allowed to use them, but I'm allowed to catch them as an exception to any catch clauses. It's purely for collection. It's not to use in battle. Okay? So that's just a noticeable thing just to state there. If I find a shiny, you're allowed to catch it regardless. It's a shiny. You know, the odds are astronomically not in your favor. If you find a shiny, you're allowed to have it. It's a freebie. I believe those are all the rules. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. I'm just kind of checking. Can you use a shiny though? Yeah, I'm allowed to use a shiny. What about NPC trades? Did we allow NPC trades before? For event Pokemon and gift Pokemon like that, we kind of just allowed it. Because it's like interactable events and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, we allowed it before. Okay. What if another Victini situation happens? It won't. There wasn't even a situation with Victini, and it's a weird thing in retrospect, like Victini was of very little consequence, we didn't even use it to beat the gym that we caught it for. People just got upset because people got upset about that, that's it. You don't need to worry about that. Yo, Yan even talked about that in his review, where it's like, it was of little consequence, so it didn't even matter. <laughs> like, it's fine. Okay. All right, let's get our first encounter. Maybe. <laughs> game game said no. There we go. It's a purloin. I'll take it. Let's get him correct. Please don't accidentally murder it. Here we go. Also, of course, we have to nickname every Pokemon that we encounter. That's just important. That's just regular Nuzlocke stuff. 
There we go. Uh, oh, we get 10 balls off the bat. That's actually not bad. I'll take it. Come on. Cat get. We still have to decide what we're going to actually use in the team. I have some ideas for some encounters. Um, there's a real mean Minchino that you get at, one, at some point in this game. Volcarona is a really good option too. But for the time being, we're simply going to catch what we have available and just kind of add it to our ranks. I'm gonna call it perfect. I like that. Again, the naming scheme is success. Triumph. Victory. We had negative connotations with all of our nicknames before. This time it's positive. It's strictly positive. Nielsen, thanks for a thousand bits. You can't just do a Nuzlocke run. Man, I need to work. I'm going to get fired. I <laughs> uh, can't wait for the stream first. RT game caused a guy to lose their job. Uh, how's <laughs> it going, man? Oh, no. Well, you're welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Uh, please don't get fired. That would be quite upsetting. What do you know about ledge jumping? Oh, I guess you would know you can jump off these little ledges. He's so disappointed. Are you able to use the touchscreen to nickname? I mean, I can. You, Darth. Trainer. My name is Alder. I'm a trainer with a keen interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is to walk toward the future with Pokemon. Hey, <laughs> yes, the absolute exposition vomit at the start of the game here. I gotta introduce you. Myself. And you are. So you're a success from a spiritual city. His knees are broken. You can't just jump off cliffs. Your Oshawott is a fine looking Pokemon. You're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I'll train you a little. Follow me. Yeah, let's just stop off in the Pokemon Center. See a Pokemon Center, you use a Pokemon Center. Just in general, a good idea. He looks like Fire Jack Black. <laughs> Never heard him described like that. Oh, you're... Oh shit, okay. This is our first memory link. I didn't think there would be one here already. So, because we played black and white and we're playing on physical hardware, there's an ability to transfer save data from black and white into black and white too. It unlocks special cutscenes and tells you things about the aftermath of Pokemon black and white. This is a physical hardware moment and it's just something cool that we actually get to see because we transferred it. Thank you, my friend. Return to the peaceful life you lived before. Lord N, why are you releasing your Pokemon? So this, this is after the events of the last game. I can't. I just can't keep Pokemon confined in Pokeballs. Also, they stay with your trainers, Pokemon will battle and they will be hurt. Even as for changing the world to protect Pokemon. It's too hard for me to put them through such pain. But, ever since we were young, we've caught Pokemon and made them battle. Just how the world works, isn't it? I decided that catching Pokemon and making them battle each other is how the, the world works. It wasn't how things were before Pokeballs were invented. The rules that govern this world are wrong. It's true. Well, I guess I let my Pokemon go then. Not yet. The world hasn't changed yet. Time to free your Pokemon will be when I befriend the Unova region's legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. Surpass the champion and become the hero. Oh no, this is after, so this isn't after black and white. This is after the battle in Charged Stone Cave specifically. This is between events. This is in between. Yeah. Well then, I'll head to the next destination. We'll separate Pokemon and people and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. And why? Why do those Pokemon seem so sad to leave me? Failure! <laughs> Here it is! Oh, Jesus Christ. Seth, thank you for the 11,000 bits. Oh my god. Thank you so much. That's incredibly kind of you. 
Very generous. Hope you had a good day at work. Failure! Is it because of that trainer that my heart wavers now? Well, the words of the Pokemon in Akuma Town really true. Does that mean failure is an ideal trainer? Cries of the suffering Pokemon fill in that room. Borderline between Pokemon and humans. They exist in that line. I live in the margins between everyone. And I, so I will save them. I will change the world. And to that end, I must fight to the finish with failure. It sounds like he's just really struggling and being really hard on himself. <laughs> I gotta not fail. Sorry, when I saw you, I just started talking for some reason. So, this was the Grunt. Who has since moved on from Team Plasma, and he's now just a breeder in the Pokemon Center. So, the world is kind of full of little cutscenes like this, thanks to the memory link, and we will unlock them as we go along. Uh, important thing to check! Did we get a good nature with Oshawa? Serious, it's as neutral as they go. As neutral as they go. That's alright! Special attack seems a little high in him. I can't remember if Oshawott's supposed to have more physical attack or special attack. We got Limber on this. We got Attack Up on the Purloin, which is actually quite good. Yeah, neutral isn't awful. The, uh, like, we, we've had- we've really struggled before with, like, awful abilities and terrible natures and stuff. So I'm actually quite ha okay with just neutral. Uh, Terjo, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you so much, guys. Good to have you all here. I hope you're all excited for the run. Okay, here's here's the mail, man. We don't don't really need that. Is there anything else I need to even pick up at this point in time? In bag two. I don't think I need more Pokeballs. I have so few options to catch Pokemon as is at the moment. Yeah, let's talk to Alder. Oh, that's right. Success. Are you Pokemon well? Pokemon are always doing the best for you, the trainer. You must always be kind to him. The house is just a little further. Stop by the Pokemon Center first if you like. This is where Alder lives, so there's actually a new extension to the Unova region. And we can see this. Welcome to the new bag as well. This includes a... The free space... Pouch. Which is really handy. This is basically a spot for you to put whatever you like. So welcome to the new region. We're starting on the left side of the map this time. See? So there's a lot of new areas here. There are new areas littered about in the old world too, so like the Relic Passage is one of note. You might notice that there's a lot going on here. There's a new town that's cropped up here, uh, Lentimas Town. The world's changed like quite a, quite a bit since two years ago. And you gotta, gotta kinda go back through some of it and uncover it all. It's cool. Is that New Jersey on the right? I, th I mean, it's based on New York, isn't it? I don't know my geography too well. Thank you everyone for the thousand bits. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you very much. What advice- what, uh, what about your advice I get over anxiety of speaking into a mic when streaming? You just have to kind of go for it, honestly. Like, I- I think I've talked about it, like, even in the past before for, like, more solid advice, like... I found something that helped me is playing games with friends, because you focus on talking to your friends rather than just talking by yourself. Help me come into my own. There's a pat rat. Big city of Novus Castellia. I want to go take the ship from Verbank. Oh, thank you, kind man. Thank you. Pays to just talk to random old men in their homes. Apparently. Shit face is living on. No, Shitface is dead. Like, you gotta remember that. He's not alive. He died at the hands of, like, a god, you know? He didn't make it. As he wanted to search for Pokemon, people began making homes in more places. The ranch used to be a grassy meadow. It's now become a place where people and Pokemon have homes together. Yeah, let's keep on moving. Jesus Christ with the bits, guys. You gotta calm down. Bloodfang, thank you again. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. Thank you for the kind words. People always think the past or the future will be so wonderful. The great time we're spending with Pokemon is right now. Happy that you're able to train Pokemon. Right? Me too. But now, no. 
It's like, huh? It's an old clock tower. Just talk to everyone, see if we can get any keepsakes. In the morning, my Pokemon come to wake me up when they're hungry. I let my Pokemon get tired from playing and take up the whole bed. Oh, it fills me with so much joy. I don't know what Alder taught me. That the Pokemon you throw at the start of battle is the one in the upper left slot of your party. Yeah, I just want to disappoint him now. Like, no! You're being too bashful. It's a good opportunity. Ask away. It's a good response. Someone says no to you. You're bashful. Hey, this way. Shall we start training? By the way, why are you holding two town maps? Oh, it's your friend's town map, is it? Friend is the one with the snivvy, isn't he? So happens he was training his Pokemon on Route 20. If it's the case, you should go give him the town map first. So all this road goes to Route 20. Wait, what if I go here? <laughs> we'll, ha we'll hop in there in a mo. Luckily, Ranch, wild Pokemon might surprise you. At times like that, only your own Pokemon can help out. We're really hoping for a particular encounter in the ranch. Uh, if we're lucky here, we can get an encounter that will block some of the other potential ones in the ranch. That's what we're hoping for. Tell him what your opponent wants to fight by looking into his or her eyes, don't you think? Let's go. We know you want Marie, Dan. I, I won't say no to a Marie. There, there's three cool ones in the ranch that you're hoping for. It's a Zuril, because you can get an Azumarill. Riolu, because you get a Lucario, and that's kind of insane. And Marie, for an Ampharos. Shitface is alive? Uh, not for long. Don't get your hopes up. You can't call every pat rat in the wild Shitface. Shitface literally died in the last adventure. He's no longer with us. You gotta move on, chat. It, it, besides, if we encounter him in this game, he's gonna be called, like, Goodface or something. Cause, like... <laughs> you know, it's a new naming scheme. We have to rename him. When battles begin when eyes meet, that's a rule for trainers. Are we just living dangerously and not healing? I think we're living dangerously. You see my cute Pokemon? Take a look. God face. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> the opposite of shit face would be great ass. Uh, if people haven't seen the black and white one run, right? Like, because, I mean, we're already, like, talking about I would recommend watching that at some point. You're going to be so confused at, like, the humor that's even taking place here. It's like, what, what, why is he talking about ass now? It's ju you're just gonna be confused. Strongly recommend you go and watch the black and white one, uh, run. Paralyze heal. Heal the spoiling spirit, my parrot is gonna amaze you. How many pat rats must be sent slain? There's so many. In this hellish land. Shit faces relatives. His entire family is going to be wiped out at this rate. Not looking good for him. He's doing a little more damage than I like. Might have to heal soon already. Just, just out of safety. Correct is going to be fighting most of our battles this next while. Ocean. We want to just keep Correct alive. Come on, a kid without a single gym badge continue on past here. Battle with the trainers of Pokemon this area and battle some more. Give me that free Pokeball. I think I want to take my encounter before I go to the ranch. You might be wondering about these ditches as well. It's like, hey, how do I get this item here? Uh, if you play this game when the season is fall, uh, leaves actually fill in these holes and you can walk across. We'll have a look at that later. Uh, what we're going to actually do 
as we play along is we're going to be swapping the season as we play, just so we can see some of these features. Okay, we want to get our encounter here, though, before we get to the ranch. Oh, joyous sun curry. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, uh, that's as bad as it gets, I think. Sunflora is, like, one of the weakest Pokemon ever made. It's actually, it's actually abysmal. That's actually scaring me a little bit. Um, I still need to try and catch it, but no, you're so pathetic and weak. I can't weaken you. Okay. Well, I think this is the only route with Sunkern, at least. Jesus Christ, Phil. Thank you for another 5,000 bits. I just got a shiny Snivy as my starter. It's modest. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Good luck to you. You guys are going ham with the bits in that today. Like, thank you so much. It's incredibly kind of you. It's like, I hope everyone's excited to be here. Oh, Jesus, over 7,000 of you. I didn't realize there were so many people. Fuck. <laughs> oh, and I stepped on the cable. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, it's going well. Let me disconnect my DS violently. Hang on, it'll come back. There we go. It's back, audio readjusted. Thank you so much, guys. Flockacy Ranch, summer. Okay. We're going for the encounter. There's some really good stuff here. Honestly, I think if most people were doing like a really super competitive Nuzlocke of this game, if you didn't get something good here, you'd probably just reset the entire game. Because, uh, like, the, like Mareep and Riolu are just actually so good that you'd want to reset it. But we're gonna chance it. We'll see, we'll see what the, the cards have in store for us, okay? Oh, it's a lily puff. <laughs> Joy. Absolute joy. We're not going to be restarting our end. Uh, Stoutland can actually be quite good still, so, you know, we'll take it. Honestly, the one that you probably want the most is Riolu, if you're lucky enough to get him here. It's just insane, because you can evolve Riolu very early, it just requires friendship. You can get friendship just by literally running around with your Pokemon a lot of the time. Or just taking part in battles. Sunkern was a bad omen. <laughs> the odds were against us. Riola's only like a 5% chance of actually spawning here. I think Mareep is 10%. Unfortunately, I believe those Pokemon only appear on this route. So we now no longer get them. <laughs> But it is what it is. You got like that's sometimes that's just the roll of the dice. We'll see what we get. Okay, uh, we're gonna call this guy excellence. Is excellence with an E at the end or is it an A? That's excellence, isn't it? Excellent, yep. Okay. Small terrier acquired. It's a shame, it's a extra shame too, because there's like Marie actually in the world. Oh nice, you've come here to toughen up. Alright, let's see how much stronger you've become. Come at me. Man's got no chill. Like, we're just going. Uh, 
Uh, but he's actually a little more dangerous now. Oh no, he has a super effective attack. We're actually in a lot of trouble. If he goes for it. Thank God he seems to have forgotten it exists. Come on, partner, shrug it off. Oh, I'm actually gonna die to a crit if he goes for it. Oh no! I'm in crit range. We're all right. That's a, that's a dicey encounter. I don't like how close I got. Correct's all right. We want to keep correct till the end this time. I don't want another mistake. Not bad. You're thinking about how, how to bring out your Pokemon strength. To be able to count on you for backup. What are you doing here anyway? Not a town map. You didn't have to do that. Thanks, thanks to you too. We just left and you've already helped us set me out. Hey gang, how you doing? I it was lively around here. You're having a Pokemon battle, huh? Isn't it nice to be young? Who are you? Oh my, I'm the owner of this ranch, and this is my wife. <laughs> Just wife. <laughs> Character name. After a Pokemon battle, you should heal your Pokemon's HP, right? Here, I'll give you this. One for you. Nice to have potions when you're far away from Pokemon Center. By the way, you didn't happen to see a herd here around, did you? Can't figure out where it went. Two herds here are always together, and this is the first time one has wandered off, so I'm a little worried. A little worried? Are you kidding me? Pokemon might be lost forever. Whatever, I'll look. Success, help out. Oh, there he goes. Why'd he get so mad? I think it's probably just playing somewhere in the ranch. I wonder. By the way, dear, if your Pokemon get hurt, let me know. Make them feel better for you. Yep, yeah, desperately, please. We're very injured. Hello, I am owner, I own the ranch, this is my wife, wife. <laughs> but like, that's what it actually is. Oh dear, where did you go? Yeah, it makes me particularly sad we didn't get Mareep. There are Mareep in the overworld, even for this area, see? They're just kind of wandering. It's very upsetting. But we didn't get it. Like, you just you gotta play it where it lands. Look, here's the Mareep just playing. They taunt us so. <laughs> just pick one up. Wait, no one will know. Come on. See, is the most admirable Pokemon. See, at the back of the ranch is a separate area. Um, if it has a different name, that's the logic we play off of. It, it, it's the name of the area. If it's a different name, it's a different area. The sheep are free. <laughs> Just take one. Like, no one's gonna know. There we go, correct. Shiny hunt the Mareep until you get one. Uh, that, that That's ambitious, but it would take forever. I'm not full odds shiny hunting. I've done that lifestyle once, and I, I'm never doing it again. Yeah, he's just gonna slow us down a little bit. As long as he doesn't actually have a grass type attack, we're good. Uh, we're really hoping that we get, like, um, the Growlet in an upcoming area, because we actually kind of need that, especially for that third gym again. The third gym is always a problem in this game. Like, between both the original and the sequel. It's just a scary encounter. I think we will get access to Excadrill again as well. Excadrill does come into it. Why do you like Mareep? 
friend. Heard you wander back here. Let's have a look. I mean, I can actually heal up real quick. I might as well. They have they have free health care. Uh, can I get that item? I can. And before, like the Riolu, just taunting us. It's okay, though, guys. We might get the shiny. Pokeball. You study for the Nuzlocke. Uh, I kind of try and brush up on some bits of it. Like, I opened up actually White 2 just to kind of go over like, memories of playing it. I did play this game, like, in full earlier as well, trying to get the challenge key. Um, and it just didn't transfer the way I wanted it to, so it didn't really matter. Which is unfortunate, it's a real shame. Weird Nintendo moment. Uh, but, is what it is. We won't let it hold us back. Hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you before, would you mind sparring with me? Don't have the Black and White 2 official strategy guide, then. I had the strategy guide for, I think, Platinum and Diamond and Pearl back in the day. I love strategy guides like that. The Fallout ones were really good for, like, New Vegas and, like, Fallout 4 and that. Just genuinely good reading. Handy maps. It was a different time. I think it's just stupid that you need two copies of specifically Pokemon Black 2 to get the key on this game. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, Marie! Friend! Why aren't you on our team? Please don't use Thundershock, Asa. Just steal him. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. Hey, I'll share something good with you. Keep giving us paralyzed heals. It's like, what, what do they know that we don't? Don't trip down the stairs now. Yeah, Oshawa should be in good health still. Sure, and look, everyone, to someone as strong as me in the back of this farm for some reason. Hopefully get type diversity soon. It is nice that this game does try to remedy the like, type diversity problem that you have at the start of uh, Black and White. Because the, the starting zones of that game are like rubbish. Just in terms of the actual Pokemon you can catch. Like they really took it to heart at least and just like, here, here's a bunch more stuff you can use. Which I, I really appreciate. Like it, it does a lot. Cloud 9. I got a tail whip and tackle. A lot of start areas are like that. Like, they are, and it's a real shame. Like, so modern Pokemon games have gotten a lot better at that. Just being like, hey, here's like 15 Pokemon. And like a few different types for you to use just immediately. And the fact that you can get Riolu as like one of your first Pokemon is, is crazy. Because that's normally like quite a, like a rare Pokemon to find. Oh, he just materialized behind the trees. Check this area, you go deeper in the grove and look. Okay, potion get. Not a herd here. Thank you very much for the bits as ever. Gang, don't forget that Psyduck holds his head due to massive migraines. It's true. He's having, he's having a bad head day. Level 12. 
Jeez, we're leveling actually quite quick. We might be able to evolve before even the first gym. Might not be a bad idea. Play it super safe. Just get the stats more than anything. Poor her, dear. I cry, you found it. What a relief. I'll go call its trainer. So you stay here with it. You little pest. I'm a member of the group that strikes fear into the hearts of those who stand before it. Team Plasma. Ever heard of it? No. Really, we're the righteous group that tried to conquer Unova two years back in order to liberate Pokemon. Whatever, fools will never understand us. Still, because I got lost chasing her here, and now some nosy kid caught me. All of this is your fault. Take this. Oh, he actually gives you the TM. Have a DVD! Some throws it at you. I'll use this opportunity to retreat for now. Don't even get the battle of them yet. Her deer is safe. Made you come all the way back here. Anyway, I'm really grateful for your help, you two. Awfully calm about this. Pokemon might have been gone for good. Take better care of it. He's so aggro. Wonder if something happened to him. Like he's afraid of losing Pokemon. Come on, her deer. Everyone's waiting. Let's go home. Head on back. Thanks, it's all thanks to you and your Pokemon. You're really great. Hey, is that it? Did Alder train you? Peace in our time in the ranch. The herd here have been reunited. I'm sad we didn't get a cooler encounter there. So far, we've gotten... <laughs> oh, we did, we did get a Purloin. We did get a Purloin. So that's a little bit cooler. For the time being, it's Oshawa anyway. We just kind of want to make sure we have a few backups just in case something horrific happens. You know, so it is what it is. Looks like you're delivered the town map to your friend. You've only gone a moment, but you and your Pokemon have grown. I almost mistake you for someone else. Well, instead of training you, I would like you and your Pokemon to give me a hand. Oh, there he goes. Remember, the sheep are free. <laughs> are we gonna help train that person, sir? Look at that trainer, looks really tough. That's right, this trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. More importantly, haven't I been telling you to just enjoy Pokemon battles? So, success, please be their opponent. I'll show you what's cool about my Pokemon. Ultimax, thank you for another thousand bits. Thank you very much, guys. He's literally asking you to beat children. Look, they gotta learn somehow, right? We're doing what we can here. Oh, they've got the stupid monkeys. <laughs> Alright, let's just end their hopes and dreams. Monkey down. They're so bad. <laughs> You have to heal your Pokemon success. Okay, so now I believe they're gonna have the monkey that's stronger against you. Thankfully, you don't have to bother with the monkeys in this game. The, uh, the, honestly, one of the worst Pokemon in this entire generation. Like, I hate them. I hate that you're even forced to use them in, like, original black and white. They're so boring. Defense is fall. I'm kind of nervous again. It's only got lick. It's all right. He's just gonna lick us. Gotta keep an eye on the stat drops more than anything. I'm just on edge. We had a very brutal first time with the Nuzlocke. We only had one Pokemon survive in the end. Remember, everything died. It was truly a rising battle. You can tell all the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. About a success. Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? Water is strong against fire, fire is strong against grass, grass is strong against water. Type matchups don't decide everything, though. But listen, Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move becomes more powerful. Feel those hard-working Pokemon. 
I think this is one of the few games that actually teaches you what stab is. A lot of people, like, you know, know this from playing Pokemon games, but there's very few opportunities that actually tells you. Whoa, I did know that. Like, whoa, I, I, this is common knowledge to me. Oh, it's Mr. Metal. I know it's a son, but nice to meet you. Don't say anything, just take this. I remember this guy. The Metal Box. People call me Mr. Metal. By the way, do you know a competition called the Metal Rally? Let me explain it. But do you know what it is? I'll explain to you. Metal Rally is an event that evaluates various activities of trainers. In commemoration of your participation, please take this medal. Uh, this is this, this game's version of an achievement system. Uh, you get a load of them as you kind of go along. Uh, it, uh, they don't really do anything. It's just kind of cool little markers for things you've done and accomplishments. Uh, anytime you see Mr. Metal in a Pokemon Center, it means you've earned a new medal. To the newly opened Pokemon Gym in Asperger City, I heard a new gym leader has arrived there. Go and test how strong you've become. Okay, now before we do that... Little pickup. Get an X speed. But also... There's an area back here. Uh, so this, I believe, is the Resolution Stone? Uh, there's no encounters you can really get here. However, if you take a special event Keldeo to this rock, you can teach it its signature move. I actually have the Keldeo, and we will do this later. But they put this very early on into the game. Uh, the event Keldeo you receive, I believe, is level 15? It has a new form as well. Where it basically has, like, a bigger horn. You just find speed on the ground in a back alley. I like this game, Lama, no! Oh, it's alright. Cord is being a bit finicky with my capture card. If it ever cuts out, that's all that's happening. I'll simply reconnect it. So don't worry there. Part of the reason I actually wanted to stream this is because I'm worried that my capture card is just going to die. And it's really hard to get new hardware in this day and age, so I want to play this and see it through before it goes, if that's the case. Yeah, so don't worry if it, if it cuts out like that. Like That's all it is. It's no big deal. It'll always come back a minute later. Could I always emulate? Oh, absolutely, but I like playing on physical hardware, because I feel like I get to show off some different things that you can't do with just the emulator. In this case, it'll be stuff like the memory link, you know? Yeah, let's just heal on up. So we don't really have anything we've caught yet that we want to use for our Oshawa. But yeah, I can think of at least like three Pokemon I want to get. Like, Excadrill is a no-brainer. Volcarona, no-brainer. You can get one quite early in this game. Other one would be, um, there's a Minchino. There's a very strong Minchino in this game, and there's a thing called Hidden Grottos we'll counter later, too. Success! He likes jumping off that cliff, doesn't he? Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. Ranberries. Those are Ranberries. If you give one to your Pokémon, its HP will be restored. It's for you. Give your Pokémon a berry to hold. It's a Ranberry, for instance. When a Pokémon holds this berry, you can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regains some lost HP. Just told you to challenge a gym leader. Spurious gym leader is a very strong Pokemon trainer. You have nothing to worry about. You think hard about what the Pokemon at your side can do. What you should do as a trainer, victory will be yours. And you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually take on the gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. As you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will get broader. I can't remember when the concept of a hidden grotto was actually introduced. I can't remember if there's any even at this point in the game. There might be. I'm just having a quick look. Is there already a hidden grotto? There might be one on one of these routes. What you're basically looking for is a clump of trees. There's like a clump of trees and there'll be like something in the middle of them. I'm just having a quick look just in case there's one available. 
might be able to find them, like, very early. And there. We need surf. I might need surf. It might be it might be up the river. Yeah. It might be up the river. That's okay. I just thought I'd check real quick. They'll be introduced to us like properly later on in the run, and they're really cool. So we'll get to that later. I think it was there with everyone subbing, like Jesus guys. What's the current squad? I have an Oshawa! <laughs> I have an Oshawa. Doing well, gang. Thanks for the tier 2 saber. Okay, uh, I can pop... ...one of these on correct. I might as well. I can't remember how scary the first gym is, if at all. They do have a Watchog again, but I don't think it's like Lenoris. I think it's a little bit calmer than that. At least I hope to God. That's all from Flocksy Town, the teacher. The client saying it was the era of young people now. So here is the trainer school. These items during Pokemon if you like, if you'd like, try using this. Free X defend, we'll take it. Let's get a load of free stuff as you go. Normal type Pokemon are weak to fighting type Pokemon. But the only Pokemon around here like that are the Riolu and Flockacy Ranch. And the game's even like, hey. You might want to pick this one up. Cancel evolution, too. Yeah, here's the gym. See, it's at the back. Hello, I'm Clyde. Guide for trainers to challenge Pokemon gyms. Take it on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. Fresh water. Pokemon gyms and facilities for testing trainers' abilities. But simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you're not a Pokemon that can fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. Having a lot of Pokemon, you might work to your advantage. I have one. I only have one. You must be a challenger. Welcome to the Aspersia City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Charon, the gym leader. This is your rival uh, from Pokemon Black and White. He's back. Maybe I better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. I'm a challenger, you two take your places. You can defeat these two and I'll be your opponent. He's the first gym leader, too. Like, there's like a bit of a shuffle in this game compared to black and white. Aaron saw potential in me and maybe a trainer in this gym. Let's go. It should be clean. Clean sailing. My computer is on something today. All my tabs just closed. <laughs> oh, no. Like, it's actually scaring me. Something's happening. Alright. We will persist. I will investigate it later. Band-Aid fixes for now. A water gun. Water gun to victory. Not even Chrome. I'm on Firefox now. I think my RAM is a bit faulty or something. I think that's the cause of some of my problems. Rec wants to learn focus energy. I mean, literally anything is better than water sport. Water gun the victory. Here's great. I don't even need to heal after this battle now. Thanks, gang. Dan, sorry for being late to the stream. Thank you for playing the best games in the series. By the way, have you seen the limited 3D graphics in this gen? They're so charming. I've seen that meme. You're not going to catch me out with it this time. Your dad, your dad is a familiar with the Maymays. 
The you kids are all using, right? You're not gonna catch me out. But the graphics. <laughs> Catterboys, he knows. Right, let's just take him out. MKP, thank you for 100 bits. As your in-house electrician, have you tried tripping the breaker off and on again? <laughs> I like it you've just been here to kind of help, but it's like, well, that sounds like an electrical problem. It's like actual trade advice. I have like a consultant. Still need to change that life. I haven't done it yet. Okay, what level is it to evolve Ashawat again? Is it 16? Pretty good, but can you beat Sharon? I think we just go for it. Maybe we just go for it. 17, is it? Okay. We're on full help. Let's give it a shot. Let's not beat around the bush. I just have to hope that Oshawott is strong enough to take down every everything he's got. I think it should be okay. Uh, and hey, if we die, that's just another chance at Marie. This is your first gym challenge. This is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. Here we go. Please beat him, Charon. I want Marie. No, you're supposed to be rooting for me. <laughs> you can't just turn. Like, go, Charon. Kick his ass. We want Riolu. Like, guys, please. Uh, okay, that could actually be scary. That might be crit range already. I've chosen that move. I see you'll be a powerful opponent. Okay, it just instantly dies. Oh, he's only got a lily pup too. Grand, it's not even a watchdog. As gym leader, I aim to be a wall for you to overcome. He had shit face. He gave it his all. Shitface is not coming back. I also realized the YouTube sensor on Shitface is going to be uh, quite wild at this point. <laughs> Maybe we should stop talking about him. Sorry, Chloe. <laughs> Sorry. Let's call him Hitface. YouTube face. Well, that made me feel really glad that you're my first challenger as a gym leader. Give you this in honor of the strength of you and your po- The strength you and your Pokemon showed. Badge get. Good feeling. We still have eight badges in this game, but there's a lot more towns. There's a lot of extra towns that have basically cropped up. This badge Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. I want you to take this. Get a copy of work up as well. It actually might be alright. Might be worthwhile using. Yep, and then TMs can be used as many times as you want. The quality of life feature that Black and White introduced. That they weirdly retconned as games went on. It feels weird even saying that. You can't use TMs as much as you want anymore. They got rid of that. They just give you a lot more TMs. Which, I don't know, I I preferred it when it was like this, because it really felt like you got a reward, you know? Two years ago, Pokedex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. In the region, there are eight Pokemon gyms and eight gym badges. If you're training, you can collect all of them. Make it easier to fill the pages of the Pokedex as well. There's a very tangible reward in this game for actually completing the Pokedex as well. Um, in the spirit of doing like a Let's Play all of this game, we are going to actually try and get the tangible reward as we go. You don't need to catch everything, you just need to see everything. And you get something quite special. It 
Is it Marie? <laughs> Maybe. Hey Bianca, how you doing? How was that? How did your Pokemon vibe with the gym leader go? It isn't the basic badge. Amazing, you just set off on your own journey with your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer, I'm sure of it. This is from me, it's a TM for the move return. Actually quite good to get er this early in the game, because you're gonna form, get a lot of friendship points in. We can slap that off. I don't know what its base power is gonna be at this point. Bianca, it's been two years, hasn't it? Oh wow. What's up? That would be a good idea to register each other in the cross transceiver. You can communicate with me from your cross transceiver. Me too. Register Professor Juniper for you too. Let's, let's, let's have a Zoom call. Gang's all here. Later, success. I'm Professor Juniper. Bianca told me you accepted the Pokedex. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, we all know more about Pokemon and we'll be able to get along with them even better. Professor Juniper, it's really interesting interesting over here. So many Pokemon we couldn't prove were here two years ago. Thank you for going so far for this errand, Bianca. Sharon, how are you enjoying being a gym leader? Professor Juniper, it's been a long time. I'm glad you're doing so well. Gym leader position is very tough. I have my usual partners. Look, Sharon, having battles that come down to the wire will make you a gym leader who deepens the bonds between your challengers and their Pokemon, right? It'll be fine. Sharon's a new gym leader. I'm an assistant Pokemon professor, and success is a new trainer. You always have Pokemon by your sides. It's weird that they're not like at this point. It's like, where did failure go? <laughs> where was the other guy in like our gang? That's right, Bianca. Our world is a world where we live with Pokemon. Everyone, keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon. Particularly you, success. The Pokedex may be important. First, enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. He failed. <laughs> hey, success. Isn't Professor Juniper cool? Talk to her in the cross transcript, which will evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex and tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolved. You can call us too, of course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you how well you and your Pokemon are getting along, okay? Bianca makes a good point. Do I know about Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups? Thanks, gang. Oh, here's average as well. <laughs> hey, the gym leader. One, two, three. Let's battle. Looks like a tough trainer. Understood. Please come into my Pokemon gym. What was that weak answer? I'm definitely gonna take you down. He's so aggro. Your gym leader is even higher than I imagined. Next thing is to make sure you can use the Sea Gear. Sea Gear is a cool device for communication, such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. You're just getting everything installed. It's always a bit alarming that, like, you know, they still have this, like, massive warrant. Like, do not use it on the plane. <laughs> I mean, because there, there's no flight mode option for, like, old DS games. Everyone will perish. Check this to see here was activated and then screenshot up. You touch the question mark icon in the bottom right corner and read about the sea here. What are you going to do now? You know there's another Pokemon gym in Verbank City, which is just past Floxy Town. So you get your features, you can modify it. Entrelink stuff is locked behind the sea gear as before. You can simply access it via here. To the Entrelink. And by expression, you don't seem to know where you are. A place called the Entrelink. It's a mysterious place that links people. Also a place where you can hone your skills by helping out nearby adventurers. It's hard to explain with words. As an adventurer, you just test yourself to learn what it is. Like this entry to receive a mission, then deliver your power to it. So basically, the Entrelink got a bit of a makeover here. Except fun fest missions. I think... Was it in black? It wasn't in black and white to this. This is new to this game, isn't it? The Entrelink lets you do a lot more. Instead of actually having to specifically interact with players this time, you actually have your own missions that you can do to level up your Entrelink and get more powers. So they spruced it up significantly. You don't need friends anymore to do this. The main reason you interact with other people is to get version exclusive missions, I believe, that you can share with your friends. Your Entrelink has like a black level and a white level. And, depending on your copy of the game, you can only get one of those levels. First berry search. So, let's try it. One of us mission is starting now. Cities and roots have places that glow. You should find berries there. Search carefully. 
After the mission, come back here and new power will be granted. That's it for now, get going. So here's your goal. Three minutes, get five berries. I believe you get to keep all these items that you get as well. So you get Funfest mission points for this, but you also get a lot of valuable hold items. So we just have these and we can just use them as we adventure. Different types of them are just available around the world. Like look, and look how many there are, like it's not even hard. It's literally just free items by doing this. And you get special powers you can use. Some of these special powers include hatching your eggs faster, getting more XP, increasing capture rate, healing Pokemon. There's quite a bit in here. We're just gonna stock up on like three minutes worth of berries. Just to show us a bit. To me, it's just cool that they're already giving you access to stuff like this. Like, we literally only have one gym badge, and it's like, hey, here's like a fun minigame mode for you to play. We can also travel while we're doing this. I think the clock is still counting down, even if I pause on that. I need to actually go to a Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna quickly dip out. Let's just quickly hop on back. I don't think there's anything inside here. The music might continue for a vote. <laughs> High stakes healing. Even for just going into this game mode just to get the funky music is like a very valid reason to do it. There's so much good soundtrack in this game. You've probably heard a lot of these tunes before on my videos. City Skylines in particular, like the music I use for a lot of those is from Black and White too. Just the Gen 5 soundtrack. It's the best one in the series in my personal opinion. It's so good. It's not to say there hasn't been a good soundtrack since. There absolutely has. But I just think this is the best one. Grab some more berries while we go. So we can just like play this as we adventure now. You know, it just makes it a bit more entertaining. Gives you more reason to kind of just explore. And there are so there's other missions as well where you find like items and stuff even instead of berries. It's arguably way more useful. Quickly just swipe one more. Time's up. Number of players won. I believe your scores pull together if you're all working together so you can get even more stuff. We get five pass orbs for that. The pass orbs are what you use to activate pass powers. Hunter Link's black level has gone up by one. So now, just to try and explain what that means, because that just, you know, it's, it just sounds weird in isolation. Let's go back to the Entre link. You're back. Oh, that's wonderful. You completed the mission. As promised, you receive a new power, not from me, but from this Entree. The Entree gathers wishes from people. These wishes resonate with each other and turn them into pass powers, which help adventurers. Go ahead and receive it. Talk to the Entree and receive a pass power. So, receive pass power. So you get to pick the one that you want to unlock. Increases the chance of finding rustling grass and dust clouds a little. Increases the XP gained in battle, which is huge. And just restore HP. There's a huge variety of powers that you can just straight up get. Now I'm not going to take the XP power just so, just so we don't throw the game's balance in any jeopardy of that. I might pick it up later. If we're at a spot where we just need to grind a little, it makes more sense just to have it then. It just takes out a bit of legwork. Uh, for the time being, honestly, the most useful one is probably something like the dust clouds, just to get an ex extra drill later. 
Five orbs are needed for that one. Oh, but I could get two power-ups though as well. I should probably get the two power-ups, shouldn't I? Get the two power-ups. Yep. Do these get registered to your C gear once you obtain them? You see past powers, I see. You become a real adventurer. You see past powers to help nearby adventurers. Past power, you need a certain number of pass orbs. You see missions from time to time. Like pass orbs. It's all from me. It's now up to you what you think you can do. Hope you have a wonderful adventure waiting for you. So, on the sea gear, when we get back into the world, you will see what we can do there. Go back to the original world from this place. You want to go back? Please come here. Yonfling got a bit of a makeover as well, so it's more of like a plaza feel to it. The bridges are gone. Until I believe you're in connection with other players, at which point they appear. Uh, the forest is still here. So this forest, just to explain again from black and white, uh, if you played the Pokemon Dream, like, website, I believe it was, you could find Pokemon in the Pokemon browser game and transfer them here. A lot of these Pokemon are distinct because they would have their special abilities. That's the big reason you would do it. The dream world, that's it. Yeah, and they're just here to kind of just explain bits and bobs. But yeah, that's the Entre Link. So we can we can use that whenever. We can take on some missions. We can get some items out of it. It's really handy, honestly. And we can kind of just incorporate that as part of like our playthrough too if we want. We need to get berries, hop into the Entre Link, do a few missions. Get your berries. It's cool. Hey there. I'm sorry, I forgot to upgrade the Pokedex I gave you. I'm gonna add the habitat list. It's an amazing feature. I'm just gonna borrow your Pokedex for a second. Oh, this is great. I remember this. You, with the habitat list, you can check which Pokemon are in the area. It's a mode in that Pokedex. You use it to open up the Pokedex and tap the habitat list button on the lower left of the touchscreen. screen. The area you want to see. Yeah, this is such a quality and nicer version of what the Pokedex actually is. Basically, it lets you scout an area and it will tell you everything that's in that area. It's great. And there's rustling grass as well. You can catch higher level Pokemon, it's mainly Audino. So the habitat list, just to show. It's almost like the default way you want to look at the Pokedex. So, now you can see that if I click Route 19, here's a list of everything on the route, and you get a stamp when you've caught them all. So this is a much easier way of looking at a route and just say, being like, hey, there's something here you don't have yet. See? So you can look over Floxy Ranch and it's like, hey, you haven't seen a Riolu. There's a Riolu here, you might want to go get that. It's such a nicer way of looking at routes. Compared to trying to find an individual Pokedex entry. Like, I vastly prefer this. And you get, like, Pokeball check marks as you complete each region. Doesn't show Riolu there, you're lying. I haven't seen a Riolu yet. That's why it doesn't show Riolu. You have to have actually seen it for it to appear in the, in the habitat list. But the fact that it's not stamped even indicates that, hey, you're missing something here. The only thing there is the basic patch. Because it's swelled head, it's a rough roll out there. Here, I'll show you. Oh, we do gotta fight him. Okay, I wasn't sure. He is a trainer. Oh, you bugger, he's taunting us. It could have been us. That's all right, I've got my boy Oshawa. I don't need anything else. And ironically, he's one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon now. He's really grown on me. He's had a whole redemption arc since like the black and white playthrough. All right, I'm beat. Depend of a Pokemon like that, even a kid like you can hold your own against an adult. I will let you pass now. Are we on help? Could be good for a battle. The strongest trainer in Verbank City's preschool. 
Wait, was that a preschool? I thought it was a trainer school. Oh. They only got the badge from preschool, apparently. Feels bad. Bugging people with Pokemon in your journey. I mean, that's all Pokemon games, so you can't fault me for it. That's just how they operate. Let's take them on out. Pop a potion from there. We're gonna need to get more money. Can't remember what the amulet coin is in this one. Why'd you hate Oshawott at first, and why do you love him now? I just thought he kind of sucked. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I thought he was just painfully average. Uh, but I like him now because I used him a while, and grew to like him. That's all it takes sometimes. Come with me, you two. Oh, here's the- he's the Dark Tall Grass. It's rare, but sometimes two Pokémon pop out at the same time. Also, the Pokémon that hide in Dark Grass is slightly stronger. Be careful if you walk through. If you want to challenge the next gym, it's the Verbank Gym. These might help. Even more berries. We have actually quite a stockpile of these already. Well, do you do your best? If you need anything, call me on the cross transceiver. Karen sure knows a lot. The sound is slightly delayed, is it? They fought those Team Plasma thugs too. Is it a one guy moment? Sound good? I've decided I'm gonna get stronger than him. You should. Do your best, fill up in the Pokedex, and have my back, got it? One guy moment? Sounds okay there, that's in sync. Sounds in sync. One guy moment. It's all good. Oh! Oh, God, this is gonna- s oh, no. Perloin, Perloin, we gotta get you out of here. <laughs> just, just run. Just get out of that. I didn't realize there was double battle grass even here. Uh, maybe we should just wait for the double battle grass in future so we can potentially get the two encounters. Probably not a bad idea, like, we could've got, like, a Sawaddle for this route, which is actually not a bad one. Ivani's actually not, like, pretty decent. Got okay attack. It is the same route, I know, we should've saved our encounter before if we could. But, it's alright. Yeah, this game just introduces everything just a little bit faster. The tutorial area is basically up to the second gym, which we're going to get to immediately here. And then it's like, okay, have fun. It's a good time, honestly. You just unlock shit so early, too. My favorite thing about it. Let's fight these trainers and we'll get those items after. Dunsparce. Oh, he actually made it here. Dunsparce love. It's cool that he has like an actual new form, even if it's just big Dunsparce. The Dunsparce. Oh, okay. That's annoying. <laughs> I guess it's called Spite for a reason. My lord, arrive it. I can't remember where you even catch this guy in the world. It's cool that we get to see him with like his sprite animations and stuff like that a little more too. Because all this is locked behind Gen 5, you know, we get like sprites in that for the first four gens. Different versions of the art, but the actual animation is cool. It's nice that Black and White 2 actually opens the Pokedex, because you get to see that for just even more Pokemon in the game. Compared to just the new ones. Dire hit. Isn't Dunsparce in Dust Clouds too? I think it is, yes. I think it shares a spot with Drillbur. We're still gonna want to pick up Drillbur just because Excadrill is 
I mean, he's just ungodly powerful, you know? He's still living his world. But maybe we'll run into a Dunsparce at some point. They're out for blood today. It's coming out of the woodwork. Okay, this is a double battle. Uh, <laughs> this might be it for excellence. What do you got there? How did you find a hyper potion already? Jesus. Pickups work in overtime. Okay, we're gonna okay, we're gonna send in perfect then, cause uh, uh, Lily Pop is pickup. That actually might be kind of good. We might we might get something. Um, yeah, this, this is not looking well for our cat. This is this, this might be the end. This might be the first step. Sunkern. Oh wait, no, we might be okay. It's just Sunkerns. These Pokemon are very weak. Unfortunately, our cat is level three. I'm simply gonna growl at them. Thank God they're so weak. Oh. A Radberry kicking it at least. The growl's not gonna help actually if they're using Absorb. So just just get scratching them. Cat might live a little bit now. I think they're gonna default go for Oshawott just because Oshawott is weak to absorb, so uh, perfect might be okay here. <laughs> because Oshawott just has to tank. The spot of luck there somehow. Oh, perfect actually picked up the kill. Nice. So Oshawott's okay. Yeah, that, that could have actually been really bad. <laughs> they did get a crit on us. We walk grass, wrestles. It's Pokemon hide and seek. You know about Dino, the Pokemon that hides in rustling grass. I wonder why Dino gives other Pokemon so many XP points. Hello, you. You're with three Pokemon. If you have more Pokemon, your journey should be even more fun. Here, I'll give you these, so why don't you catch more Pokemon? Please. Please, please just get more to work with, is what the game is saying. Great balls do you get? Yeah, you actually get a few. It's not bad. Sort by type. Should have caught the sun current. A sun current is terrible. Excellence is picking up a lot too. Isn't our super potion? We should just keep him about. Little, little item machine. Immediate Skype call. How's it going, gang? Hey, it's your mom. Where are you right now? Oh, Verbank City. There's a complex there, right? You've been there yet? The way it looks at night is really quite nice. You can also train your Pokemon there. You know, your Pokemon can do some things and you can do others. You can all work together and accomplish amazing things. Because normally, like, you have to go back and see your mom before you set off. In this game, you kind of just leave. And she just calls you later and you fill her in. That's like, oh, hey, I've been away. Roxy, don't try to stop me. I'm off to Pokestar Studios to live up to my true potential. My dream is to be a ship captain and a movie star. Get real, you're a captain already, aren't you? If the ship doesn't move, you're gonna cause lots of trouble. Oh dear daughter, split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader and with your band, right? I can do that too. Oh, there he goes. He's off to Hollywood. 
Ah, you dim-witted, dense, dumb, daft, dippy, dorky, doltish doofus! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Doing double duty isn't the problem, you're causing problems for the people. People from getting where they're going because of sheer selfishness is unforgivable. If had it, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> The language! Hey, hey, Mr. Metal, how you doing? Oh, we didn't collect any, so he's giving us hint medals. But there might be rewards, actually, for getting certain amounts of medals. There might be. I vaguely remember it. Hey. Okay. It's a poison type gym that's coming up. You wanna play? Where do you prefer? Outside or at home? I don't play. What you interested in? The thing everybody knows or the thing nobody knows? I know nothing. In my view, you're a person with common sense! <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. I <laughs> won't question. Why not? Okay, special Pokeballs are for sale. We don't really have enough money to get too many of them at the mo. Uh, a Repel actually might be a worthwhile investment just to get a few of them. You always get a few bits and bobs like in a Nuzlocke run just in case something bad happens. Uh, the Super Potions are more so if we just get stuck somewhere and I need to heal. Great balls are simply better. Uh, I can wait till I can get 10. Hangs in good health. Have Chloe censor that's gonna be funny in, on YouTube. I don't think you need to censor that though. Like there was, there was nothing offensive said. Like you're a dumb dunce. It would just be like, you YouTube and YouTube, son of a YouTube, wipes their YouTube. <laughs> you know, it's not gonna work. My medal's really pretty, isn't it? Solve the hit medal riddles, you can collect more and more of them. Have a look around the town. Dino friend. Yeah, so Pokestar Studio is, is a thing in this game. This is like, already like throwing extra content on you in this game. We'll get there in just a mo. We're gonna like, explore the city. There's quite a few pickups and like more collectibles in this game. Roxy's band is getting hired to buy tickets to her shows lately. They'll go on a world tour soon. Do you know about the battle box? I do actually know about that because I have to use it in the Pokemon tournament. That I went to. Pearl here, I'll take it. Burbank Complex is coming up too. This will be another area for us. No chance to get something. Let me see, because there might be two things. Oh, it's only the complex. I was thinking there might be like cold storage or something like that in it. it does not. The Castellia leaves here. Star Studio a moment. Is how you use the C gear. You guys are very excited about it. These boys is intense. It stings, stings, and stings. You know what I did? I caught a Magnemite in the complex and I was just fine. Here, I'll give you these to so go catch a Magnemite or something. Here's the gym. Like, look at the aesthetic of this place. It's so cool. I don't know if I can go in here yet. <laughs> you fool! What have you done? <laughs> Pokemon Gym and it's also a rock club. Gym leader and the others are practicing inside, but please feel free to challenge all of them. But oh, you need to stay hydrated, here you go. And the audio reset.
get it right. There we go. General, thank you for another thousand bits. Ah, yes, Burbank is across the river from Manhattan, just like I remember. <laughs> Look at the club. It's so cute. You've got new gym music too. And they're singing. Voice acted in a Pokemon game. It's very rare. It's very rare. Ghibli for you, she really brings out the charms of her Pokemon. She's too wrapped up in what she's doing here. Run the PA, it balances the sand in the venue so it's easy to hear. Are you a trainer? I mean, you're thinking about the type balance of the Pokemon in your party. I have an Oshawa. That's my party. Let's fight the guy on drums. Let's knock him out. They're just like in a live performance and we're like charging the stage and it's like, I'm gonna take you. Like, where is security in all this? Oh, that was a critical? Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, we're on the clock. Maybe I should not have gone here. Oh, this might already be over. Twenty-six. Okay, my only hope is Torrent Range is gonna carry us through this and Coffin doesn't kill and I live the poison. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? I, like, switch? I have nothing to switch to. Assurance. Don't kill. Okay, Torrent Range is going to save us. It's dicey! But Water Gun is now boosted in power and we can get it. Okay, that's, that's playing it a bit close. <laughs> Jesus. We should not have stepped inside. <laughs> we almost died already. Razor Shell is amazing, by the way. Like, power 75 at this point in the game. Um, the question is, I mean, I, I think I keep tackle. I think I just get rid of Water Gun. I think it's just going to be more useful. I, when am I actually going to use focus energy, though? I'm, I'm really not. I don't think I'll ever use focus energy. There's no situation where I want to be banking on crits. Okay. <laughs> We're all right. <laughs> At Oshawa Evolve, too. Stress induced evolution. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a pretty big mistake. I, I shouldn't have just waltzed in there. That poison almost did us in. I'm not even gonna chance, like, if I take a step, do I take poison damage? I'm just healing. Get me out of the gym. Party too hard in the club. Yeah, we'll we'll hop back there in a mo. Uh, we have an encounter we can go and get. And live a little less dangerously. <laughs> Takes a near-death experience for Oshawa to evolve. That's not a good sign. <laughs> you think that's bad? If we don't get a Growlithe in the Verbank complex, we're in so much trouble. For the third gym, like we have like nothing. 
Maybe uh, Magnemite can work too, I guess. Growler or Magnemite is basically what we want. Okay, I'm gonna quickly check what kind of grass I want for this again. I actually no, I don't remember it. Is there an interior to this zone? That's the main thing I think it comes down to. This is all considered part of the Verbank complex. There is a double grass here too, I think. Hey, trainer, looks like you got energetic Pokemon there with you. Can I ask a favor? I need to get the workers in this complex fired up. How about to help a guy out, will you? So I'd like to hear. Some new workers here in the complex. Go get those three raring to go. Okay, so we gotta find the workers and defeat them. Growlithe is the one we're hoping for. What's our best odds of getting a Growlithe? What patch of grass? Is it like the double grass or just regular grass here? There's grass outside too. Oh, now we can just razor shell as well. Look at this. I'm actually shocked that did not kill. <laughs> Sad day. Dark grass repel. If I use repel for the dark grass um, and go for a shaken spot, I'm just going to get Audino. I don't want Audino. We did use Audino before, but like, we have better odds for something cool here. We gotta try and get it. I can't believe how much damage they're doing. I already need to use another potion. Oh, you're a trainer too, hey. There's a mag- Magby is a 25% chance instead of 20 on the ground. Oh, not a Magby. That would take it forever to evolve. That's like friendship, isn't it? I guess Magmar and Magmortar is not the worst thing. Like, we can make it work. We, ju we just really need a fire type. It's ultimately what it comes down to. It's level 30 to evolve. Okay, is it? It's not as bad, but it's still annoying. It's still annoying. We can actually do trade evolution, because again, physical hardware. Oh my, well you have a Pokedex, don't you? Good, the newest Pokedex is an amazing function called the Habitat List, because you used to show me what kind of Pokemon live in this complex. So she wants you to complete the complex listing, and she'll give you a reward. I can pop a repel here for a moment, so I can get across the grass. And I can get to the double grass, which we're looking for. Oh, it's- wait, it's not over here? Where is it? There's somewhere. in there, okay, so can I just hop now? How do I actually get in there? Here goes the repel. Oh, there it is, there's the entrance. Okay. Uh... Because this is double grass, um, this might not bode well for our partner. <laughs> Just as an FYI. Cat is once again in danger. What do we get off the, our dog? An escape rope. It's like you don't want to do this, man. You don't want to do it. 
Just to be really safe, I'm gonna pop a berry. Uncorrect. Here we go, encounter time. Okay, it... Is a double, there's a Magby? We're go it's gonna have to do. It's gonna have to do it. That is disastrous that it's not a Growlithe or even the Magnemite. I'm, I'm actually quite sad by that. But it is what it is. Pathrat hates us. Let's just kill him immediately. So you have to kill one in these encounters, otherwise you, you can't catch the Pokemon. Forty-eight to forty-one. That seems to be fine. Scratch did barely any. I think a tackle will be fine here. Tackle and a scratch. Oh my God, game! Come on! <laughs> Not every battle needs to be on the clock like this. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone's in danger! Hey, go Pokeball! Oh, I should use the Great Ball. Okay. Well, he just killed our cat! There's the first deck, gang. Okay, we, we really need to catch ya. Get in the ball. You are kidding me. Okay, if we if we don't catch it right now, the run might be over. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is this actually gonna happen? Okay, chat. How bad do you want it? If we don't catch it, we literally fail the run. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it, but if we don't catch it, we're in so much trouble for the grass gym, because we don't have anything. How far are we in? We, we've been streaming for two hours. <laughs> oh. I'm debating it. <laughs> I'm really debating it. It's so Jover. Okay, no, we're gonna... We're actually gonna run. Absolute disaster. So we didn't get a catch. We did not acquire a catch from the complex. And our cat is dead. Well, that's unfortunate. It's so it's just Oshawa. It's we only have Oshawa. 
All right. But, but, hey, you know, I, I like Oshawott a lot. And we're gonna play it where it lands. That's what you guys do. These are dogs alive. Dog's doing well. I just wish I could uh, use a second Pokemon. Okay, we gotta go back and heal the burn. You're a gambling man, RT. Look, I'm not dying this early into the run, okay? I'm not doing the first two hours again. This isn't the legend of, like, the guy who dies in the first gym and stubs his toe again. We're gonna succeed. I can't believe that Magby just murdered us. Okay, well, it is now time uh, to establish the graveyard in our PC, which... <laughs> It's very upsetting. Hey, it's gonna just be a hard start. Just grave. Hang on. Which one is it? this one. There you go, Purloin. You did your best. May you rest in peace. We're one down already, so we didn't get anything from the ranch. We didn't get anything from the Verbank complex, so uh, it, it's an uphill battle to say the least. That is going to make the third gym significantly harder. We're going to need to try and figure out what encounter we even have for that now. I'm trying to think. There... <sighs> okay, there is one game plan. There is... There's an Eevee in Castellia City I think you can get. It's in like a secret bit of the place. I don't know if you can get it at this point in the game, but we can try it. That'll have to be the one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can get. Uh, I can get the grass here. Now, this grass is part of Verbank Complex, though. It is actually that area, unfortunately. Maybe we get lucky and we get a shiny somewhere. Kid, yeah, thank you for the 4,000 bits earlier. Thank you very much. Phil, thank you for the 1,000. Since last Nuzlocke failure won, would that mean success will lose? Don't say that. Why would you say that? Okay, well, we're just gonna get that XP on our Oshawa, because God only knows we're gonna need it. <laughs> I just your Pokeball for my Great Ball. It is a good deal. He'll, he'll do that every day for you. Get a Silk Scarf. There's another item or something you can access in the downtown bit. Yeah, so th this is technically the complex once you step in, and then here is the city. You can see the zone transition. We can't avail of that grass. Uh, I, I, okay, I need to surf for that item. That's what it is. Okay, well, let's go train in the complex. There's, there's nothing else we can do. It is the legend of Oshawa currently. We have nothing. Train the dog. I... No, I don't think I will. Stoutland is good, but I think there's actually better normal types we can get. The amount of XP sync that it would be to train the dog at this point versus just use an Oshawa. It's better to just use Oshawa. 
think. I don't care how much people like kind of disagree or are like, gonna be like, you're wrong! That, that That's the call I'm making, I'm explaining my thinking. I think there's other uses for our XP that might be more valuable in the long term. You're thinking is wrong? Cool. That's great. That's good for you. That's a good answer. I don't know what else you want me to say. That's my thinking and I'm gonna trust my gut. Um, this is just a wild coffin. Why are you putting up such a fierce, staunch resistance? Okay, just get out of there. Just get out of there. <laughs> oh my god. 38. Does it go down if I run in this game? No, it doesn't. Okay, so they've, they've removed that from Gen 5, I believe. This is the story of success, and we will succeed. Um, despite having literally no Pokemon to our name... ...with five encounters under our belt. God, that's actually so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. We've had five encounters and nothing. We have our dog. Our do dog is here. Excellence is here for morale. I don't think he's worth investing in right now. I think there's, there's more worthwhile options. As desperate as it looks right now, I think we just need to focus all our resources on Oshawa. And hope to god we don't get poisoned. I, I, I could pop a berry on for the fight, actually. That's probably be my best bet. Specifically to deal with poison. We gotta, we gotta make the workers excited again. Take them on. It's just salt on the wound that you're using this Pokemon, but all right, let's see how it is. Fuck off! <laughs> Just stop it! I gotta use water gun now because of the burn. Just stop it! Oh, I'm so upset. The game is pissed. Oh my god. Okay, I need to check what the stats actually are as well. Okay, our attack stat is low. Special attack is way higher. So yeah, uh, we, we just want to keep using Water Gun, I think. Jesus Christ. I have to go back and heal again. Because every other trainer has inflicted burn. Every Magby has inflicted it. I'm just not making physical contact with them anymore. It's for the best. We're all right. It's not just another Dane Verbank. Uh, did I go in here at all? And pick up? 
All your Pokemon have been training. Just in case your Pokemon gets burned, you asshole. <sighs> Game's just taunting me. I'm a stubborn man though, I'll persevere. I'll just persevere. Phil, thank you. Okay, we're healed again. We'll go back to the to the complex. Okay, there's a trainer up there in the double grass area. What should we like double growl it? Installation tower, the guy's making his oil. Game, why do you taunt me so? That would have been perfect. Okay, just... Just kill it. Didn't have Intimidate. Did not have Intimidate. It was alright. It would have been a bigger taunt. Okay, just take him on for the XP at this point, because we need it. We have to tank the poison gym. Everything we can. Oh, there's a Magnemite too. That would have been lovely. There's like every Pokemon in the area we wish we had. Okay, this guy's gonna tell us more about oil. Most stacks of the complex rise up in the sky. The powerful silhouette sure is breathtaking, isn't it? By the way, the burden up waste gas. And they found all sorts of uses for this gas, though. Oh, you overheard some of my vast stock of knowledge. This gas hole is sure an expression of harmony, aren't they? The reason behind that shape. The sphere is best for withstanding the tremendous pressure inside. It'd be nice if they would draw a Pokemon on these gas holders, too. You overheard some of my breathtaking knowledge. Are you actually interested in what I have to say? That would mean I have a complex, buddy. Makes me really happy. Well, and take this with you. Marine Ford, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Xavier. Okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite places. You sure? You positive? <laughs> I got another worker. He loves the pollution in the air. That's the thing, like, this would be destroying your lungs just to be around. Like, it's an actual oil refinery. Like, it's so close to the town, too. Oh, Ele I think you can catch Elekid in the complex, too. This is an FYI. That would have been another great Pokemon. <laughs> that would have also been so nice to have. Might only be in white, too. Yeah. But still. Just the idea. It's just the idea. Take him on. A few more trainers. Literally anything would have been nicer. <laughs> Not dying. Would have been great. Okay, 
Take on the world, Oshawa. It's all up to you. There's literally no one else for the job. At last, workers here. Hashiwat's solo run. I doubt it will come to that. I'd be very sad if it did. Looks like everyone won the Riolu lottery around here, too. Just ignore him. Don't let him get to you. Game heard that I like Oshawott now, so it's like, oh, you like it now. Well, that's gonna be your only Pokemon. Have fun. There we go. You sound really distressed. I'm having fun. I, I am having fun. Don't get me wrong. It's just this is a very stupid start to this. This is not how I imagined it would go. Maybe we get lucky and find a shiny Growlet. Who knows? Doesn't seem to be any Intimidate ones anyway. Fury Cutter. Um... It's kinda awful. It's actually really bad, but like, there might be a scenario where we're against a bulky psychic type and it's the only thing we- avenue we have out. It would work against grass. It won't work against the bug gym. That's coming up. Um, but I guess we'll just take it. Sure. Let's go back and talk to the workers. It's good against Celebi. Oh, nice! That means the fort gym is beat! The time travel gym leader. That's amazing! Here's Rock Smash. I think you still need to use it as a HM in the field. Like, it's listed as a TM. I think you still use it? Let me just see real quick. Does anyone know? I can't remember if you actually have to use this as like a field move. Turn is definitely going to be better than tackle at this rate. No, you don't. Okay. Tackle get. I can teach Rock Smash to something. I'm going into the poison gym, so maybe, maybe not. Uh, that's not really going to help much. Let's uh, let's heal up, and we'll just whip make our way through the gym. <laughs> we deliberately left so we could go get another encounter. The encounter almost murdered us. Mr. Metal's back as well. The Light Walker Metal. Evolution Hopeful Metal. He'll just keep tossing medals at you every time you talk to him. Okay, let's go beat the gym. Did I go in this house? 
bunch of people who identified themselves as Team Plasma tried to control Unova under the heroes with the legendary black Pokemon, Zekrom. Go be a hero and become friends with Zekrom. Zekrom's a legendary Pokemon, but I don't know it very well. New Pokemon trainer. My grandchild was also visiting Pokemon gyms as Pokemon in various places and collecting badges. Why are you going into random people's houses? I feel like that's such like a game logic thing in the question. It's not unique to Pokemon. Pokemon! Okay, we need to take him on. Take out the backing guitarist. Guitarist Billy Joe. Okay, now just in case they have poison touch, I'm gonna use water gun. <laughs> Cause I'm getting sick of this. I'm not making contact. Coffin does not. Does have poison gas. Like, that's what scares me more than anything for the actual fight. I'm gonna get poisoned and just have to work against the clock and, like, hopefully beat everything. I can pop a berry on to give me, like, a degree. Out. Oh, hey. oh, come on. Might as well use this. Might as well use it. Okay, we're gonna get, slap this on correct. Uh, what's on excellence? What you got today for us? An Ultra Ball. That's actually quite good. Excellence is putting in some work. Like, just sourcing stuff. That's really gonna help. We need to keep excellence alive just for that sole reason. Pickup is actually gonna be really good as this run goes on. We're getting, like, a bunch of stuff we just shouldn't have. He's an excellent dog. He is. I can teach work up. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> well, that would have been a nice little plan to hopefully get through it. You know, just a bit smoother. Never mind. Okay, uh, let's find out if we just live this. Get ready, I'm gonna knock some sense out of you. Only two Pokemon. You have to make contact twice. Even if we get poisoned, it's fine. We have a berry for that. Do you desire the wind pouring out of you? Coffin's down. No big deal. Whirlipede. Not over yet, time to turn this show around for a victory. Question, does Whirlipede have poison point? Do I need to worry about making physical contact? I always feel like I do. Probably, yeah, just water gun. Oh, it's also got protect of all things, okay. Oh no, so if I get poisoned, it's really bad. Oh, it's so bad. It's like actually over if I get poisoned. Venom Shock deals extra damage if you're poisoned. It's a toxic stall. But I think we're alright. If 
fact that she didn't get off in the coffin, and we have the berry, means that we're okay here. Another gym clear. Wait, I was right in the middle of the chorus. What are you doing losing, Roxy? Well, I guess that means you're strong. This stinks, but I gave it everything I had, and I feel revitalized and refreshed now. Here, proof that you beat me. Jim is now quiet because you beat everyone who was performing the music. It's just eerie silence. Two badges. Now Pokemon up to level 30, even Pokemon all Pokemon you got in trades will realize how good you are. We'll ignore your commands. Also, here's a TM for Venoshock. Pack is already poisoned, deals double damage. Almost packs too much of a punch. It's so, like, awkward. Wait! Hey, you! Look, like you, you were something special during your battle with Roxy. Please come with me to Pokestar Studios. You're gonna be famous, kid. Gonna make a movie with ya. I forgot the old man. I have to get him back to work as a captain. <laughs> so, uh... You just you, you, you come here often? <laughs> no signal! <laughs> Absolute comical disconnect diamonds. <laughs> okay, let's just... Uh, pop that out. It's so quiet. I can hear myself think. Man, what happened at the club? Okay, let's make our way to the Pokestar Studios. We will get more Pokemon soon. I, I, I think in Castelia City, like, I think it's good stuff. There's, there's like a patch of grass where there's only Eevee, I think. Oh, no, it's not only Eevee, is it? Okay, but we will get something. <laughs> we'll get something. So our studios has a place where you can experience different lives. See, that kid sounds promising. One second, guy. See, that kid sounds promising. You know, that kid should be here any moment. Oh, look who should appear. Welcome to Pokestar Studios. Hey, success, we've been waiting for you. This is our boss, Mr. Studio. Bonsoir, hello, I'm Studio. Charmed, I'm sure. You must be success, we were just talking about you. <laughs> I'd like to explain to Pokestar Studios, but I need a little time to prepare. I'm so sorry, darling, but could you wait an insy moment? In the meantime, I'll show you around Pokestar Studios. They're marvelous. Movies, they're amazing. Pokestar Studios inspires and moves people all over the world. You can make sure success experiences many charms. Well, then I absolutely must be off and start my preparations. We'll see you in a minute. My boss for you, what graceful footwork. Well, then success, come with me. So this is, this is side content. In this game, this is what replaces contest halls and stuff like that. They actually have a much more expanded system compared to the Pokemon musical that's just an awful disappointment. This is a bit cooler. I'll tell you what it's all about. Pokestar Studios was built for making films. It's a movie metropolis. Many films are made and released right here. This is the theater. Of course, this is where the films are shown. Movie fans from all over also gather here. How about we have a look inside? Here we are, this is the reception area. 
Here's your man we need to convince to go home. He's made a movie debut. Who would that be? This is success! I witnessed this trainer challenging your daughter. It struck me, here's someone with real potential. A fresh discovery for Pokestar Studios. Hey, Roxy, I see. You must be a pretty, pretty good trainer. Well, you know what? They're releasing my movie now. Are you thinking about making a Pokestar Studios debut, too? And I do insist you watch my movie in order to gain acting tips from a professional such as myself. It's a good idea. Success should be a good introduction to filmmaking for you. Awesome, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go- we're gonna go see his movie. That's where you choose the movie you want to watch. There are eight screens in the theater here at Pokestar Studios. Pretty impressive. The movie will be shown on the special screen. Hey, get ready, gang. Movie time. Bryson Man. Midlife Man of Justice versus Bryson Man. Place of never ending smiles. Everyone's ideal place to play. The amusement park. Over. It's dark, it's just before the dawn. A hero has appeared on the scene. And that hero's name is Riolu Man. Challenged by Masked Man Bryson Man. Masked Man Bryson Man set up Ponyard. Go, Riolu. Go, my Pokemon. Unleash your power and destroy everything in this amusement park. Can you hold on, please? Who are you? The messenger of truth's ideals, Riolu Man enters. Hey there, Bryson Man. It's not nice to do bad things. Amusement park. This of ideal dreams, or perhaps I ideal dreams. I have no use for either ideals or dreams. Super effective. Pontiard Fainet. So, you might be noticing, Bryson here was a previously a gym leader. He's actually retired, and he's now gotten into acting. <laughs> the audience has fallen asleep. The Olu man is, uh, is not doing too well with his performance. We'll end you now, Riolu man. Air slash. It's super effective. This is the end for you, Riola man. I didn't even have to use my secret arts. Down in the corner, watch me destroy the amusement park. Youch, I wasn't hero material after all. Wahaha! -ha. Most of the audience left. They were so disappointed. Riola man just died. Don't we'll forget how, how he timidly fought with all his might. Here's your credits. They went all out with the screenplay and director as well. I think they don't even like it. <laughs> Marvel fatigue. Yeah, Riolu Man's just not the same as Iron Man, is he? Hope you had a good time. How'd you enjoy the movie? What's the matter? I was dreaming of making my debut on the silver screen. Now I fulfilled that dream. What are you saying? Different people have different talents. I knew it all along. I see my daughter striving to balance the responsibility of being a gym leader while pursuing her own dream of being in a band. Oh, my father, I really want to pursue my own long-held dream. Stop pursuing your dreams, your life may as well be over, right? Going back to my duties as a ship captain for now. Someday I'll return to the screen. When the day comes, I'll leave all the star and rolls to you. Better get going, Mr. Dio should be ready by now. He, he's off for now. He did his best. You have to take part in the first bit of the side venture too to introduce the systems. Which is a bit weird, honestly. But it's cool that the systems even here this early in the game. You don't only have to wait like quite a bit before the game's like, hey, here's like something for you to play with. Here's the recording studio. Hey boss, I brought success. Oh no, thanks for coming. Studio. Brought you here because I have a very important request to you. 
what you figured out, but I want you to be in Pokestar Studios movies. Scout said you were absolutely positively oozing with star potential. When I saw your potential struck struck me like a lightning bolt. No doubt in my mind this train will become a top star. Pokestar Studios silver screen. I know, isn't it fabulous? Sure, you'd be a big star, darling. So I beg of you, be in a movie. Imagine it was actually like that. Like Hollywood, Hollywood's on the phone to you. It's like, please, please be in this next Avengers movie. Like, please, we just need someone. We need a new superhero. It is for me. We've had Ant Man. Where's Pant Man? Bryson, would you join us? Here he is! Bryson's focus our studio's pride and joy, our marquee star. Prepared a positively perfect script for a big veteran star like him, and a fresh new talent like you. Those eyes, I look forward to acting with you. Again, he's straight up the gym leader from the previous game. He's now retired, and he works in Hollywood now. Like, there's been a lot of changes in the world. Here's a green screen man as well to explain like the systems of the studio in case you need them. You can shoot movies with your own Pokemon too if you clear it. Um, maybe for Nuzlocke rules? Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, if a Pokemon faints in the movie, it's not permanently dead. <laughs> because that's gonna be a really weird way to lose like party members. I think we just established that now. <laughs> It's just a movie effect, yeah. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Pokestar Studios, if you get the strange end and your Pokemon will become a star and get a unique intro sparkle effect similar to a shiny sparkle. Yes, there's a way to do it. Uh, maybe we can actually get that here. Let me give this a go. So here's how they record all Marvel films these days. Um, who have I got to talk to? I think it's your man out here. Let's shoot a film. Okay, I have to use rental first. Let's get rolling then. Three, two, one, action. So, welcome to like the weirdest battle system I think that a Pokemon game has ever done. So you're not actually battling, you're trying to film the movie, and you still have to pick moves to kind of enact it. Here's scene one. Gotta check in the script is important. So, you have to check the scenario. What? You're recording Bryson, man. A hero battles the masked man who is targeted in the amusement park. The mission is to knock out a Pokemon every scene. See? This is your script. So use a move a dark type Pokemon as weak to and use a flying move. There are different ways to end the movie too. You get different outcomes if say your Pokemon actually dies while recording. They kind of line you up with the moves that you're supposed to use here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go wildly off script in a mo. What's going on? Pretty good Riola girl. Despite that however. You get down on your knees before me, but I end you with my dark secret arts. Prepare to be finished. They talk really fast as well. You get to you get to choose your lines as well. <laughs> I'm scared. Wah! How pitiful, Riolu girl. Why would I waste my secret arts on someone like you? This should do it. That last line. That was pretty dreadful. <laughs> And you get director's commentary as you record. If you pick the awful line, they'll be like, that, that was awful. Like, what are you thinking? So, the script calls for me to end it in one scene. I'm not going to. I'm going to use Force Bomb. Oh, I just died! <laughs> Cut enough. That's it for today. Fine work, everyone. Film, it's done. Good work in the shoot. Would you like to release the film you just shot in the theater? So the thing is, it looks like I've absolutely failed. You can still release this movie. 
it lets you do this. So yes, we're going to release it. You don't have to get it right to let the for the movie to actually finish. I want to see the finished film. This is where we're really amazing. The movie you just filmed will be finished in an instant and released on the silver screen. Come now, success, Stalin. Let's be off to the theater. Your boss, sorry to interrupt, but the time. Oh, that's right, got it. Are they like brothers or something. Sorry, success, Stalin. I have to hurry up. Guess you should go see how your debut turned out. It should be an amazing movie. You're in it after all. But I'll see you again soon. Pokestar Studios is always waiting for you, success. mass-produced movies. This, this is like the AI generated ones. This is where it started. The AI generated movies to me, like, it seems so weird. Because people are like, like, people did like this one with like, The Great Gatsby where it's like, and all the comments are like, this is going to change the way we see cinema. Like, oh my god. The film is like these weird panning shots where nothing happens. And everyone has six fingers on their hands. Or like you get these like Wes Anderson auto-generated ones where once again nothing actually happens and it's so boring. What is shot composition? Like that's the thing. I don't get it. People are like freaking out about it every time I see it and it's like I'm just like Oh, like okay. The US president's playing Pokemon is a treat. <laughs> I have laughed at that one. <laughs> this is quite stupid. I don't get why that's such a thing. I think it's because there's so many sound files of like US presidents speaking. But they just have ones where it's like it's they're fighting each other and stuff. It's really stupid. But yeah, there's loads of them where it's like, this is gonna change society at large. There's one where like Bill Gates is trying to explain to Socrates how a phone works. And it's just like a, like a 12-year-old's impression of like what a, a Greek philosopher but how they would refer to, like, an iPhone. Because he's saying things like, Oh, what is this device? Oh, excellent! And it's like, it's... What is this? It's just really boring. It's like they're selling the concept to people who... just don't get it, or don't know what the internet is, or... Art? I don't know. Yeah, it's soulless. That's how it feels. This is all a precursor to say that eventually I'll be an AI-generated streamer. Um, you know, we're gonna have, like, the AI stream. I'll get, like, an AI-generated stream script, script and we'll simply enact it best we can. I think that'll be good fun. Okay, let's, wa let's watch our AI movie. Eventually, yeah, sure, <laughs> like, you're not already. <laughs> Lava, please. It's so much sass today. We'll be the AI, yes. Phil, thank you so much for all the bits. Jesus Christ, man. You gotta calm down there. Very kind. Threatened shadow looms over this happy place. The stage is set for trouble. Dark is just before the dawn. A heroine has appeared on the scene. That heroine's name is the Riolu Girl. Let's go. Mass man, Bryson man. It's like being called like Mass man, Robert Downey Jr. man. You know, it's like not a good stage name. Destroy everything in this amusement park. Hold it right there. Who are you? Messenger of truths and ideals, the Riola girl enters. Stop right there, Bryson man. I cannot allow your mischief. Use your pack is merely a moment of a dream. Shape people's ideals. No use for such ideals. So this is where the script starts to go a bit downhill. So what's going on? This is one of those hero skits. Take like, hey, KO to my Pokemon. You're pretty good, Riolu girl. Despite that, however. But still get down on your knees before me when I end your dark schemes. You ready to be finished? I'm scared. <laughs> Everyone in the audience is already asleep.
Oh, where'd you die, Riolu girl? Riolu just dies. <laughs> this is the end for you, Riolu girl. I didn't have to use my secret arts. I just stand in the corner and watch me destroy the amusement park. <laughs> like, what's with all these movies of people failing to be heroes? Thank you, Riola girl. Goodbye. <laughs> it's movie end. Some people have already left. Like of the four people watching, one of them worked out. Walked out. Like that is devastating. In terms of like the amount of audience that's disappeared. Only three left. None of them liked it. But we did it. We're a movie star now. Record box office gross minus 30 billion. <laughs> Holy shit, how did that cost so much? How was it that bad? Negative 30 billion. Oh no, we made a sequel to Morbius. Oh, it's devastating. A success, I'm a huge fan of your work. Great work as always, here, take this. There has to be some kind of tax right off there. Yeah, there has to be. Well, if it isn't success, darling. Success, this particular effort turned out to be a complete flop. <laughs> I thought it was quite a unique little film in its own way, I liked it. Bye for now, success. I'm so looking forward to your next picture. <laughs> What's Bryson's salary? Yeah, it must have been like 29 billion or something. Oh, God. That's- I've never seen it that bad for a score. I didn't actually know you could check it like that. Costumes and here. This detailed model of the rolling over is a set for a movie. Before VFX became so advanced, we actually had to make a lot of things. Now we wish you would make a lot of things instead of just using special effects all the time. It's really refreshing when it's physical objects because it ages a lot better. Remember how they used, like, actual perspective tricks in Lord of the Rings? Uh, to get the hobbits, like, in line with everyone else and, like, look smaller? And then you remember when they just green-screened everything in The Hobbit and it looks really weird? I don't know, which I- which I- I prefer. If I had to have a green screen, Daniel, it's greener. Uh, uh, that's a solid counter-argument. I hadn't considered that. I must sound so old on this stream, by the way. I remember when movies had physical effects. What was that AI about, anyway? It just sounded, like, grumpy. Like, not understanding technology. Yeah, I'm gonna flick on a light real quick. It's gotten alarmingly dark. This is electricity. Back in my day, we had a good old candle and flame. You're my favorite grandpa streamer. I, look, you can call me dad. You can't call me granddad yet, right? We're not that old yet. Okay, Grandpa, stop it. Stop, no, I'm- Mods ban literally everyone calling me Granddad. I don't care if it's like 500 people, just purge them. Ban all of them. 
They all gotta go. Ban in all of chat now. It's like slash ban all. <laughs> oh, Team Plasma's back. You guys are Team Plasma then. Like we're Team Plasma. Two years ago, we were betrayed by the man we respect as our king and hero. Our conquest of the Nova region ended in failure. However, we'll never give up. We will persevere. I already have another plan in motion. Shut it, you guys are the worst. You talk about saving Pokemon, but you're just Pokemon thieves. I don't think I'll ever forgive you. In the ranch, we got chased chase by Lilypop. Now we're getting involved in trouble. This kind of stinks. Well, it's okay, isn't it? We steal their Pokemon. Hey, kiddos, when you're ready, give it your best shot. Crush you and your new plans. I could never forgive Team Plasma. Question, hang on, did I... And guys, I might just run to the Pokemon Center real quick just to make sure I have the power points. Hang on, uh... Oh, we'll, we'll... We'll definitely stop them, gang. Just hang on. Give me, give me, give me two minutes here. Hang on, just making sure. I'm gonna stop and get a snack before we fight him. Go back to the complex again, you know? Wait, hang on. Has my dog found anything? Dog's not found anything. Go make another box office flop. <laughs> hang on, guys. I gotta go, like, make a movie real quick. Can I just come back in, like, six to eight working weeks? I'm 30 billion dollars in the hole. Pokemon will be helping us take over the world in a few seconds. Team Plasma theme in this game is a bop. It's just so pumped up. Yeah, we've got- I mean, we're over-leveled. It's because we haven't been able to catch another Pokemon and reliably use it yet. It will balance out, though, once we start to get teammates. They give us more money, too, when we beat them. I believe kids like these caught us off guard. Let's run. You just barge past. It's like nowhere for them to go. But if you go check Route 20. I lost my precious Pokemon would have been taken. Thanks, you two. Use this. Get the HM for cut. The hidden machine, right? It's cut. When the whole cut can use it even when they're not in battle to cut down small trees. More importantly, let's go after Team Plasma. Splitting up and searching Route 20. Okay, so HM get. Uh, this might be a job for our dog. Oh my god. God, like, come on! <laughs> I have nothing! There's no encounters left, too. I'm gonna have to teach it to Oshawa, which means it's gonna be stuck on bloody Oshawa like most of the game. Question! Am I allowed to just use my dead cat to cut down trees? I know it sounds bad. That's not needed. Okay. Alright. We should be alright. Is a corpse HM slave okay? Very unethical question here. <laughs> Look at the team plasma. Help me check Route 20. I don't actually know where they are. 
Here's one. Really hate it when people won't let things go. It's so good. It's just so high energy. I could love it. Correct is putting in work. And I think about it, if I run this way, no one can help me. I have to head toward the ocean. So with that in mind, I'm going to flee again. Goodbye, Verbank City. They're just going to take off again. They're just going to swim away? Well, they're really good at running anyway. Still, she just said something useful. She must be moving around by boat. Stelia City is a big port. I wonder if they're headed there. Go back to Verbank and look for someone who looks like they know a lot about ships. You were right, there was a place to board boats on the docks. Yeah, we gotta take off for the next town. Taxidermied purloin HM slaves. That sounds like so horribly wrong. <laughs> on multiple levels. Just head on back and go to the mainland. Thought oh, your movie was pretty good. You saw it. That movie was no, it wasn't the movie. It was me. I was so excited that I didn't really become Riola Man. Acting like that won't thrill or excite anyone. Come on, don't get down. Keep trying while you continue on as captain. As long as you don't cause anyone trouble, I won't get mad. I how the Pokestar Studios feel about that though. Oh, did you hear us? It looks like everyone from Team Plasma got away. Feel really good about it, but at least they're gone. Oh, Ruckus, but you can sail to Castelia City now. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll do my best as a captain. Excite and thrill everyone by barreling through rougher waves. That just sounds dangerous. But I'm all for it. Okay, let's head on over. Please step this way. Zooming. This is the big city. This is like your Sky Arrow Bridge moment in this game. It's the closest they get to it just because of the world layout and setup. We don't have a big bridge to walk over. But it still works. It still sets the scale. Welcome back to Castelia. Much bigger than I've heard. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna find Team Plasma no matter where they run. But yeah, success. Register each other's number. New Donk City. Strange ship. A sailing ship in this day and age. Might be something going on here. Might be something happening. You just can't stand it anymore. Scream at the ocean. <laughs> That's good advice. I would just feel like screaming chat. the Castelia City. It's the Castelia Harlequin Hunt. That is your first visit. That's great. Here, have this bicycle. <laughs> it was a simpler time in Pokemon games. Castelia Harlequin Hunt's rules are simple. All you have to do is visit specific places and talk to the Harlequin there. Whether you participate is up to you. Places to look are the Metal Office, Passerby Analytics HQ, and the Battle Company. Ride the bicycle I gave you and go, go, go. Okay, so we might get access to a few more encounters from here. At least that's the hope. Recover Pokemon? Oh, sorry. You know Geonet. Oh, you know Geonet. Great, great. That's even greater, let me tell you. Try Geonet, you can register the place where you live. So, a moment of silence for Geonet. Um, this, is, this is a long, dead feature. Uh, but basically, you could just kind of register your location. Ireland. Look, that's us in the world. That's 
gets us there. Fennel has moved to Castelli City. Fennel is professor who is researching about Pokemon trainers. I think there's a man like this in one of the Pokemon centers who gives you cool stuff, I think. Guys, he's in Ireland. He's been doxxed. Oh shit! I can hear someone at the door! Instantly someone's outside. In bag two, I'm not taking any chances, we're volume ten. I don't think you get the premier ball in this one unless you um you buy basic Pokeballs. I don't know if we're quite there yet. There was no mention of it, was there? We're here, Dan. <laughs> Bit menacing, but okay. Right, we now have $26 to our name and $30 billion in debt. Try and repay. I'm a battling clerk. Don't give up, I'll win someday. Yeah, there should be stops and sites around the town, too. Here's the roll, Unova. I don't think you can access... I don't have enough for the ticket. You can access it now, apparently. I'm actually going to shock. This was locked for, like, post-game content before. I have no money, though. Everyone's faces blend together. Is that because I'm tired? I'm surrounded by people. Do you have to grow like everyone? Do you only have to like yourself? Making a few stops. Some trainers even toughen up their Pokemon in the sewers. Ah, oh, he's blocking the entrance to it at the moment. There is a Castellia Town sewers where we could have gotten that our encounter, but it's locked. That's annoying. There's a gra there's grass in the town too, for but you have to go through the sewers, I think, to access it. Opens in a little bit though. I the question is if it opens before the gym or not. The problem is I have to go face this gym and I don't really have anything. Quick claw, that's nice. Here's one of the Harlequins. This is the one we talked to. Guy, our bridge has been around for a long time. They're running an inspection. So this this area of the game is actually locked. But you can't get back to the starting area until much later. So we'll revisit that in a while. Pray for Daramaka up north. I think that's what we have to do at this point. Yeah, like there, there's nothing else for it, is there? You can go in the Game Freak's office. Maybe they might have something. I'm talking to everyone just in case they have something for me. Anything that can help me is good right now. Go to floor 22. Get a revive. Graphics are blurry. I. It's an old game on Nintendo DS? I don't know what to tell you. Honestly, it's weird for this game, but like, uh, like for watching DS games and stuff like that, it makes sense to have like a smaller kind of screen for it. It'll look a little more sharp if you do it that way. Oh god, wait, 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 what did I do? Oh, I was not paying attention. Oh, it's fine. It's level 16. I was just talking to him. It's like, hey, you want a battle? I was just pressing A in the hopes, like, give me item. Oh, my God. Can we please not do this? This game hates me. Oh my god, I love this game, but it doesn't love me very much. Uh, 
Oh yeah, just heal the full. Am I gonna have to kill my dog? <laughs> Might have to. The game's taking it all away from us. I have to. I have to get rid of the infatuation. Dog's gotta go. Oh wait, he's gonna live! He's gonna live! Dog is saved. Okay, don't make physical contact. He's gonna get five again. I mean, it was close though. <laughs> the game it hates me. I'm just trying to make my way in this world with my Oshawa. Or do what now? He did an excellence. Christ excellence. Okay, we might be able to use him at this rate. Why did that give so much XP? Great number of steps seem to increase our trust in you. I hope we can battle again tomorrow. No, oh, they, they want to battle as well. Oh, we gotta do it. We need the XP. Dog first for the swap. I don't think I still want to level excellence right now. I don't think I do. I think we can get way cooler stuff than Stoutland. And at the same time, I'm probably gonna need him at this point. I don't think I have much choice. I think we're desperate enough that it's like, it's the only other thing we have. Oh, okay, it's a monkey. It's a monkey, they're terrible. You never have to panic with the monkey. They really suck, it's what you have to remember. Literally some of the worst Pokemon ever made. See how much return does. Pretty good. You take that back? I'm sorry I have taste. So sorry to upset you. Last, but we learned a lot from you. Besides, it was fun. Come back again tomorrow. He's the sound designer. Is there anyone in the development team who has something for us? <laughs> the development of Scarlet and Violet. Summarized. Work. Work. Please. God. of a new plan of a game. It technically worked? I think on a technical level it didn't work well at all. That's the one level I don't think it did work.
still very much enjoy it, but oh, it could be so much more. Um, we can run and try and get the encounter on the next route. Might be the best place to start. I'll, uh, I'll just clear this street. Let's just see what's in this building real quick. Oh, is this the game that introduced critical captures? It might be. I'm talking about it. Anyone up here? If you don't rest, you won't feel better. Rest is important, so I'll give you this. You please have a nap. It's getting late, Dan. I didn't even tell you about the chesto berry combo with it. I'm a curiosity. Do you know what a curiosity? A person who is curious about everything, who checks places with nothing there, and who talks to all sorts of people. Most people play in this game, I feel. <laughs> you kind of have to, because like, like, you never know when something's going to be hidden. I think there's a leftovers in one of the bins in the city. We might want to grab that if we can. I can't remember if it's here or on the village bridge. Okay, Pokemon Hell is fine. Lieutenant Surge has changed people. He really has. Okay, we need to go up to the route. I'm kind of scared because I've... Oh, we got a fun fest mission. Sure. I think there's an encounter. No, it is not here. There's an encounter there later. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Okay. Hey, Bianca. I got- no, don't battle us. Just have to catch up with you. Take this as the dowsing machine. Wonderful, thank you. Find some hidden items. Use- if you use the dowsing machine- if you often use the dowsing machine in the habitat list, so on, why don't you register them? It's written in his book. Use the registered item just by pressing the Y button. So this is, this is a handy thing. I think this was in uh, black and white as well. But you can have multiple registered items. It just makes things a little bit easier. So I can register both of them. And now if I press Y, you simply pick which item you want. Quality of life. Okay, um... There's battles immediately here. Now, something you're going to notice right off the bat. There's buildings here. Uh, this is like a something where Black and White 2 actually diverge quite a bit. Construction actually finished here. And there's now just like actual apartment blocks and stuff like that that's actually been constructed in the desert. The route is actually very different looking. In White 2, they actually uncover ancient ruins and construction is cancelled. And there's a lot of abandoned construction sites. Braviary is available on Fridays here, I believe, so no luck today. Question for the Braviary encounter. Yet, yeah, what level is it? I don't think we can chance that. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm hiding the darkest hand. It's tw level 25. Oh, that's a real dangerous encounter. Here it's Mandibuzz. Okay, that's a really dangerous encounter, though. Wait, isn't your DS set to Friday? Is it? It might actually be. Also, it is weak armor, not worth it. Yeah, weak armor, Mandibuzz is probably not going to be good. Weak armor, its defense literally drops if it gets hit. Yep, yeah, so it's not actually worth it for Mandibuzz. That's alright. 
I'm kind of scared about this trainer. I can't remember what they have for the life of me. Thank God. Okay. Uh, let's just see what encounter we get, I guess. We'll journey into the desert a bit. We can get some more XP. Now, there's actually some scary encounters in the desert resort here as well. Uh, we're going to have to start to worry about a different trainer's Pokemon. It's not going to be revealed to us for quite a bit what's going on there. I think you can start encountering them from the desert. Basically, if a Pokemon enters the battle and has a special particle effect that's not shiny, it belongs to a different trainer. Uh, one of those Pokemon is unfortunately going to make the game more difficult if we encounter it. And that's a Darmanitan that's now in the wild. Um, so we have to actually be cautious, because if we encounter the Dermanitan, it will probably kill us. It's a very good Pokémon if we can capture it. But it's also just incredibly dangerous. Okay, here's our encounter. What we got? That is actually great. Oh my god, we've a working fire type. That's amazing. Now the question is, is return gonna bloody kill it? <laughs> I think I use Fury Cutter and weaken it. Fury Cutter will double in power each time I use it. I can use one more Fury Cutter. It's Rage is builded. Wait, it did five? How much is it doing now? Seven? Okay, that's fine. One more. Do not crit. Okay, Rage is building. Okay, we really need this. We're gonna go all in with the Ultra Ball. I need something I can work with, please. Thank God. Okay, we have something we can use. Garumaka acquired. We have a second Pokemon! Yeah, what are we gonna call him? Savior! <laughs> he is our savior. Okay, let's see what we have, like, ability-wise. Jolly Nature is pretty good! Oh. And we have Hustle on it. Hustle... ...is an okay one. It's not quite the one you want. It does mean that its accuracy is gonna be a bit rough. Jolly is really good on this. Jolly is so good. Oh, it is? I did misspell savior. I forgot to put the U in it. You're right. People were typing it in chat, but that's the Americanization. It's just spelled incorrect. Hang on. Oh, I will change that soon. It becomes Sheer Force when it evolves? Does Hustle actually change? That's the only ability. Oh, that's huge! Okay, it's th that's the only ability. What level does it evolve? I can't believe we actually have a working Pokémon. doesn't evolve to level 35. It will- okay, that would take some time. However, 
It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. We will take it. I can get the XP sh share in Castellia City as well. It's available in this town, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Oh, the ice cream is just available. Is that where we don't get as many customs as we used to? Mine won't accomplish anything, I just have to work hard and sell them. You can actually buy like a dozen Castellia cones. It's actually quite cool. There's a shop that sells ice cream here, is it good? He's just on his merry way. Uh, Castellia cones? Do. They're actually really hard to get in black and white. Here they give you more. Feels the status problems of a single Pokemon. For the price, it's really good. You can use it on anything. Really handy pickup. <laughs> Ouch! Don't whack into them with your bike. I'm so glad we got that. I feel that we definitely have a much easier time in the third gym now. The name raider, I think, is in this town, too. Okay, so we need to explore and just find the XP share, I think. Is it in the battle company or, like, the passerby office? I can't remember. I feel like it's in one of them. I don't know if anyone knows. Uh, we'll figure it out. It was Battle Company in black and white, so maybe it's still there. I'm just wondering if it's possible to pick up, because if I do the Battle Company, I have to fight a bunch of battles. Oh, perfect. Okay, your man's just gonna help us. Fantastic news. Don't have to worry about it. So now we can just freely pop this on and just train. Speecher. Pop it on Savior. Uh, did our dog pick up anything? Nope, nothing yet. To grind for a bit. I mean, this is this is going to be grinding and training. Which one did you choose at the beginning of your journey? Ashua. Oh yeah, here's where you get the mystic water. Game is starting to throw us a bone now that we've reached the city. It's it's another good pickup. That's just going to make us a bit stronger. From the Harlequin hunt. Got him. Okay, we're gonna train in the battle company a bit, and we're gonna train in the route after here too. We're gonna we're gonna wait before we go to the gym. And just get as many battles as we can in. I think we we have a safe net in terms of levels here too. Because we piled quite a bit onto our duo. Yeah, so I, I, I can quite reliably train uh, Teramaka up here. I have so much bully in the game is being nice. Like, it is. It's a really good one to get to. Like, Darmanitan is a Pokemon you can use until the end of the game. It's, it's actually so powerful. You get some really good moves on it, too. You get rewards and that from the battle company too. Quick ball is great. That means we can just get a less risky catch. Train the dog too. I don't think I'm training the dog still. Look, one one step at a time, right? Maybe I should. 
feed the dog. Okay, my my le my priority level, right? I need to get Daramaka to level 20 so we can reliably face the gym. Once we get that, I can train the dog a little, okay? I don't know if the dog's gonna be any good because it has pickup as an ability too. It's kind of rubbish. I don't know, does pickup go away? Does that change into anything? Give him a slap. It becomes Sand Rush. Forget that Stoutlink, get Sand Rush. Doesn't it still take damage from the Sandstorm? Even though it gets that. Savior's getting stronger. The fact that it's Jolly is, is actually so insane. That's the actual nature you would want to run in it. Timer balls too. Happy days. You get so many free items from here. Scope lens. Better chance of crit. Sand rush removes sand damage entirely. Oh, she's a spy. She just openly admitted to it. It's a bit shocking, I'm gonna be honest. I'm engaged in corporate espionage. Nice to meet you. Okay, bud you? Okay, I mean, this could be the chance test. Ah, oh, but the, he's, he's young. He's young, I... I'm just gonna go for the return. There you go. Taking minimal risk. Now that we've actually got something we can use. I was genuinely worried I would've had to restart the Nuzlocke at this point. So I'm glad we're still going. It's a little less precarious too than our approach for the third gym in black and white. Cause that's when we have to go on the whole Victini business. I might be able to get Excadrill in the sewers too. He's supposed to be quite strong. You prepared to face the strongest person in the building. I must come to challenge my grandson, the company president. Just sends out like a Mewtwo. <laughs> the items in the pickup get better as the dog levels up. I'm not gonna be able to level him up and keep him as the dog though. Like he's gonna evolve at some point if I level him. I gotta fight off the Eevees. I can give Daramaka a rock smash as well for fighting type coverage. Might as well do that. There's also the Castellia Park encounter. There is another encounter for the city where we might actually get an Eevee. If we're very lucky. If we get an Eevee, then that's just amazing because, hey, you can fill any role in your team. Savior grows in power. I think once we get to the bug gym, he'll, uh, he'll significantly ramp up. I think uh, that when you win, it's because of your Pokemon. That when you lose, it's because of yourself. It might make you stronger. Enjoying yourself is much, much more important. Do I get anything from you? Device for the XP share. I want to release a device that lets people talk to Pokemon. Anything in the trash? Did you go to the sewers yet? Not yet. Uh, we're kind of like combing the city at the moment. We're just trying to see everything we can do. It's, it's, it's quite a bit to check out. Castelli City is like one of the biggest hubs in Pokemon. There's so much happening here. Okay, we did that street, so it's time for this street. Uh, this isn't the gym, is it? 
Studio Castellia? I don't think it's a gym. No, this is just the art gallery. Yeah, this is where he puts all his artwork. I'm not as good as an artist as Burba. I like have a liking for paintings. Let me see. Today I like to paint a bug type Pokemon. I I I don't have one. Title Eternal Ideals. Vanished Hero. Ugly Truth. You don't get to really see the paintings. Two beings, a meeting that must occur. White and black dragons. Sin and money stack up. Title, a gift. The moving Pokemon. The recipient. Sin and money. Yeah, let's go to the next alley. We'll keep our exploration on. Danish hero honor origin story. Basically. I go down to the pier here? Don't think I did. Oh, it's a destiny art, sure. Yeah, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. I'm glad you had a good birthday. Good to see you as ever. Happy belated birthday to you. It's a ship for Unity Tower. To get the Unity Tower, I believe you have to pass by someone with your console, and then you it's like a record of every trainer you ever walked by. It's a shame because Black and White had a lot of features that if this game was on 3DS, it would have done a lot better with Street Pass functionality. But because it released quite late, a lot of these features never had the time to shine in the spotlight. Which makes me quite sad. There's a major one we'll come across in a bit after the desert. You teach me a new phrase. This is your happy message to passerbys. I just want to see if... <laughs> what a wonderful phrase! I registered so I could input it quickly in my tag log comments. Tell me something you just blurt out when you're happy. <laughs> okay, I didn't see you next time. When you're happy, you have to express that joy, right? As I pass her by, Data. You can find all the answers. You have good eyes. Eyes full of curiosity. Good eyes. Especially appoint you as a statistician. Only one task that conduct requested surveys. Because you've received survey requests from me, from the survey radar, you'll choose the survey you want to conduct. If you pass by a lot of people, that radar will collect the information. Of course, we prepared compensation for the survey. Statistician success. I expect you to do a great job. Do a head count survey. <laughs> more men or more women? <laughs> I, I think it's asking, like, how many men or women? But the way it's phrased, it sounds so ominous, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. Do more men or more women? Like, it's, yeah, it does sound like it's asking you about partners and stuff like that. Like, you know? Like... <laughs> it's a quest from the newspaper company. A survey requires you to pass by ten or more people to find out which are the majority, men or women. I want to publish the result in tomorrow's morning paper. Nah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Version is more popular. It's just a request from me. Thinking of taking a Pokemon too, I want to know which one is most popular. <laughs> sure. Best received a Pokeball. You remember to thank someone who helps you. You sound trivial, but it's important. Let me tell me your feeling of gratitude. What a wonderful phrase! It warms my heart. Somebody helps you, show your feelings of gratitude. Sure, they'll appreciate your feelings. It's important, isn't it? Don't mind what you tell me your favorite greeting. So, you can set up all of this. So that when you pass by people, like, here's your data. Oh, they got something more for me. 
He tells about people. What is your hobby? Games. Can I answer with the same answer? I am a... I am a content creator. You can answer all the questionnaires. Love me some cool Pokemon. My favorite type is probably Steel. Love a good Steel type. Either Steel or Fire. You prefer to live in the city? <laughs> There's only one answer to the one I wish I had more of. Uh, friends and family? I wish I could choose them together, so I'm just gonna go blind. Likeable people, which partner would you choose? Smart, or you know, can they play badminton real well? Appearance or substance? Yeah, I really look for substance in people. Like, it, it, it doesn't sound right. We've done this before in black and white, too. Rich. What am I after? Cool, wise, funny. I like to be mysterious, sure. I'm a bit of a dreamer. You want to work hard at friendships. Four more surveys. Let's iron them out. Right, we might as well. What's your favorite music? Um, soundtrack of <laughs> niche Nintendo DS video games, but also jazz. Lo I, I love me those Japanese cartoons. I actually love a good action movie. I, I have a real soft spot for like James Bond and stuff like that. I need to see the new uh, John Wick this week. Where would you go with a time machine? Just nowhere. <laughs> eh, it's not for me. Probably go to the future. What would you do with magic? Fly, be invisible, stop time. Stop time is the coolest. <laughs> Look at my financial accounts and how much I've amassed here. Uh, I get quite competitive with my friends in that. It's in a nice way. Uh, on holidays, I play video games. <laughs> Uh, love me a good RPG. What do you think the most fun part about Pokemon is? Pokemon themselves. I'm so old. Who's your favorite gym leader? Uh, spoilers! Spoilers for all of these! At least it's cool. You get a soda pop. Okay. Let's pass it by HQ. Is there anything over here? Bald was not an answer. Small compared to a luxury liner, but the size of the ship doesn't change the feeling of adventure when you're out in the open sea. Would you like to go to Liberty Garden? So... We'll hop back here a little later in the playthrough. Um, because there's actually a special event on Liberty Garden. If you bring the Victini that you catch in black and white. Uh, we will do that later, once I've had a chance to transfer it, okay? Long time ago, an extremely rich person hit a very amazing Pokemon called Victini there. That's what fell apart exactly because they planned to do things like that. Like, everyone knows about Victini, like, it's kind of become news at this point. Victini's not in this game, but there is an event relating to Victini. What's going on here? Said there might be trouble, and then he took off. You can go look for him if you like. Oh, Burr vanished again. 
Oh, hello, Iris. Something came up and Burr isn't here right now. Burr's always vanishing, though, huh? He's got artist block and just goes wandering out of the gym. Hi, who, who are you? For Team Plasma. Team Plasma disbanded two years ago. Guess it doesn't matter, you're having problems, so I'll help you out. And where would suspicious people go to hide? That's it, that might be where they are. The grief Burr and Iris are so similar. It's like she went around the corner toward the Pokemon Center. Do you know where that is? We're not gonna we're not gonna hop there yet. We have a few more stops. So we're nice twelve hundred bits. Um, I've thought about doing randomizers, but honestly, for Gen Five games, I just kind of want to preserve the experience of what Gen Five was. Um, so like, I don't want to do it. Give correct massage. That will make it more friendly and boost returns power. Okay, name raider. Uh, let's just fix this typo. <laughs> Give us one second, gang. There we go. Feeling reader. I've heard a lot of people uh, take feeling checks using the C gear. But you're in America. <laughs> I mean, location-wise, I guess we are in this game. You're not wrong there. Still incorrect. But that's okay. Here's the metal office. Actually, I've been secretly cheering for you. Of course, as a staff member at the metal office, I will judge fairly, though. And you want to ask me? Just talk to him about medals. Showcase your medals. You get trainee rank. These are where all their their tech and development equipment is. Profits are true. The roof. Free healthcare, so it can't be America. Oh no. Oh yeah, this is where the the Dream Radar or whatever you call it service is relocated. My name is Fennel. I'm researching Pokemon trainers. GameSync is a vital part of that research. Let me explain the system for collecting trainers' save files. GameSync is a system that retrieves the memories of sleeping Pokemon. Yeah, so this was in Pokemon Black and White. This lets you play a browser game. And catch Pokemon, which you can then transfer to your copy of the game. This is Aminata, who developed Pokemon PCs. They're just living here, too. You can register your friends. We're going to Fennel's assistant. Some of you like to know about research and dreams. Uh, this is all closed service. It's no longer available, uh, unfortunately. PC is now renamed now that we've met Aminata. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, because it's like there's just a lot of Pokemon with like exclusive abilities and stuff that are kind of locked to it. They've alleviated some of that in Black and White 2 in particular, because they give you another means to get those hidden abilities. They de they've definitely fixed it as games have gone on too, but it's just more abilities like available and means to even get them. Back in the day, this was the only way to get, like, certain Pokemon. Like, Starter Hidden Abilities was a notable one that was locked behind the service. Uh, did I go down the back alley? I don't think I did. These, these guys are just plotting crime. Yeah! Hey, yo. Where did I put those sunglasses? <laughs> ah, I found them. You really gotta to have more light to see your way by. Take this, it'll help you see in dark places. The man just screams at you. And he just goes back to being mysterious. He's our cafe. From the first game, so this is where you can bring Meloetta. You get a free moon and milk when you talk to your man here. 
We'll come back and I'll transfer this into the game so you can actually see the dance. There'll be some cool in-game event stuff here. And it's like, uh, there's a unique piece of music that plays in here too. It's really sweet. The man flashed you in an alley. It... Yeah, he did. Oh no. Lee of Nights for 400 Bits ripped up my Magnus on I got lost in the dream world when they shut it down. Oh no, if you still had a Pokemon in the world, it's gone, isn't it? When the servers went offline. Oh, that's so sad. Lost time. No way to recover. Oh, here's the amulet coin too. Perfect. Uh, the Mystic Water will help us win battles. Um, but this will help us win finances. So, <laughs> you know which one we gotta choose. Okay, Mr. Lock, he was a mysterious man. Lock Capsule Guy, I think, is still in here. I think they've changed this event uh, for Black and White too. I think it's still a thing. He's just talking about it. You over here? My Pokemon to be in the new office, but I can't say such a thing in front of my girlfriend. No, he's not here at the mo. They kind of acknowledge him when we talked about this event in like uh, Black and White. Basically, you can get the TM for Snarl. Um, by transferring a po uh, like an item from Heart Gold Soul Silver to this game. He used to take residence in this building, but they've since removed him. Okay, there's security for this one. You want to go up? Okay, you can go. Actually checking for firearms. Be careful. Snarl TM is event only. It wasn't black and white. It's no longer in black and white too. They've changed it. Had to get up in the morning after a fun day like today. It's about when you sing instead of setting an alarm clock. I cannot get up at all. I do not know why. Oh no. Have an unlovely party. It's a TM for attract. Is la primera vez que vengo aquí, pero este precioso paisaje hace que me sienta como en casa. La próxima vez traeré a mis amigos. German's a beautiful language. Ciao, tu stai divertendo. Non sentirti in imbarazzo. Parla pure, con chi vu. Hey. <laughs> ich hab mir nun ein Auto zuglet. Damit ist die nächste Start auch ganz on Orden zum Griefen na. Es sei denn, ich rassel Dirk mein... I'm, I'm not even gonna start on that one. <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt it. <laughs> uh. Okay, enjoy your party, gang. Perfect pronunciation, everything was correct, thank you. I- I know it was. I know. I'm so- something of a multilinguist myself. Did we go and bolt these buildings? Did we just do one? I don't think we did this one yet. How have you found so far? 32. If 40 or more, I'll give you something good. Yeah, we'll check back with him in a while. Okay, 
RT, your Italian is abysmal. Thank you. I think you mean it's Trey Bueno. This guy's just excited about badges. He's a charcoal! This is a metaphor for my grasp of modern languages. Throughout <laughs> the game did not like it. It's like, okay, you've had enough, bud. But now I can't fix it, because now it's quite funny when it cuts out. You got hacked by Italy. Oh no. Yeah, by the way, time-wise, we're probably- we're gonna go just a, a little bit further. We're probably gonna do the third gym, and then we'll wrap up for the night. We're gonna tackle this area, do sewers, third gym. Probably go about another hour or so. Points of the game for trying to stop that from going further. <laughs> it knows. Okay, I have correct. I have an XP share. I'm worried about fighting the breeder just because the breeder can have an awful lot of Pokemon. So I'm gonna fight them last. Both are suddenly lined up like this. What's more, the HM strength won't budge him. Oh, it's the Crustle blockade. I forgot about this. That, that, that way forward is, is locked right now to walk around a bit. Sand Isle. Wouldn't have been a bad one to get, but we we really needed the fire type just for the bug gym. Crocodile actually is very good. Can carry you through runs. But I'm happy with the one we got. The one we got is fantastic. not too much of a route that we can explore right now. We're locked a little bit. Uh, I can fight the fisherman. Can we actually get a crustle from here? I don't think you can. There's opportunities for crustle later, though. I think there's, like, an event but like, an interact crustle in this game. So you can basically get it as a guaranteed encounter that way. So, thank you for the thousand bits. Have you ever thought about doing a Pokemon randomized in Nuzlocke? Yeah, I, I, I answered your question earlier, man. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I have, but like, um, for a lot of Pokemon games, I kind of want to present the experience as is and as I remember, which is like without wacky shit, basically. And we just kind of add the Nuzlocke to it just for some challenge, you know? He's gonna keep asking till you break. <laughs> Uproar? Is Uproar any... No. No, it's really not good. I need to teach, uh, my Darma... My... Darumaka some moves soon, too. What if I gave you another thousand bits? <laughs> Doesn't work like that here. It really doesn't. Hey, what's your price to play my game? Has to be another 5,000 bits at least. Not how it works. My tabs and everything is having trouble. There we go. A PC's just dying. Dad can't be bought at a price that low. <laughs> you see, 
See, the amount of money I now need is $30 billion to cover the financial losses uh, for our box office bomb of a movie we made. No, so if you're happy to cover that, okay, you can pick a game. But I can still veto it. Working on it, Dad. Yeah, let's pop that. Okay, we're gonna try fight the, the breeder. I think the reason I'm scared of them, I think breeders can use up to six Pokemon. That's the main concern. I don't know if they're gonna be like that here. Oh, it's only two. Okay. It must be ones later that I'm thinking of. Oh, it's a Drillbur, too. Yeah, you can re-battle them, I think, like, once a day as well. I remember I'd be, like, soaring through, like, some routes and that in this game, just exploring. I could be, like, ambushed by trainers I knew I'd defeat it already. Get him, gang. Calamity 3. <laughs> Y'all have family since Black the events of Black and White. Moon <laughs> thanks for 200 bits. Here's some money for Dan. I hope this will help cover the crippling debt your movie cost. <laughs> Love you, Dad. I can't believe it's just 30 billion dollars. Like, it's so much. It's so stupid. Like, how bad was that movie? What was the budget? 30 billion. Okay, we have to go into the sewers now. Stop by the Pokemon Center here, too. Sorry, man. Thank you again. No problem, man. Just start a GoFundMe for the losses. <laughs> Imagine someone does, like, a Kickstarter like that, where it's like, Listen, like, this isn't for an exciting new venture. I really messed up. <laughs> I just need out. Please help me. Oh god. Dad tax has really shot up in years. It's true. Inflation. You know, you have to adjust the dad tax for inflation. It becomes significantly more. Hey, come on. Some pier is past here. If you mention a suspicious place in Castellia. The only place to come to mind are Narrow Street and here. Hop on over. We do get an encounter in the sewers. This way, come have a look. Um, so important question to ask. Chat might notice. Are there dust clouds with Drillbur in the sewers? Because if there are, that's what we want. No, but there are in Relic Passage. Okay, so that's a different zone. We have to hop into the sewers. Check out what's happening here. You find Team Plasma. Thanks, but you don't need to lie just so I won't be disappointed. It means the only place I still haven't checked is success, help me out. And he goes. Sewers are a perfect place for hiding. Iris just kind of points you to it and is like, yeah, you deal with the criminals from here. I need you to get tougher. Even I'm gonna have trouble taking them all on all by myself. Anyway, it's okay. I'll take care of healing their Pokemon. Counting on you. Are you ready to go? It's fine, Team Plasma. So we're teaming up for this bit of it. There is a way to lower the water. I think. Maybe. 
Oh, I might be misremembering that. Okay, here's our encounter. Okay, a Zubat is not bad. The main problem is that uh, Average here is also in the battle. And we can't control what he does. Don't want the Rattata. Oh no, what have you done, Average? Oh, what are you, come on, please have a bit of... This is why you're Average, this is why you suck. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Okay, well, we look, we got the Daramaka. We got one encounter. I'm gonna take it. That's all we get. That's all we get. It will do. How many roots have we now squandered the encounter on? <laughs> it's quite a few. Ah, oh, god damn it. Kill this servine in retaliation, make him fail his Nuzlocke. I could. I could, it's very tempting. Wait a second, I dropped something here, just wait till I find it. He's not gonna let you pass. It's gonna be like his contact lens, but it's already on his face. Oh, I need to activate the dowsing machine too. Take on the world and just get some XP. Is it even worth fighting these ones for the XP? I don't think it is. I don't think they're given actually enough. Neptune, thank you for another thousand bits. No problem at all. Very best of luck on streaming. And there are double battles here, which is against one trainer. I actually don't know. Average is here. No, it's 1v1. Okay. Average is just gonna stand at, like, the sidelines. Like, this is your battle. I cannot help you here. It's a good safe place to level save here. I mean, the safest way we're doing it is with the XP share, honestly. Uh, this is base power 70. Doubles its power if the user is poisoned, burned, or has paralysis. I mean, Headbutt is pretty much going to be the same in terms of sheer force. Headbutt might get the flinch. I, I think I'd rather have Headbutt. I'm going to get rid of Rage with Rock Smash eventually, too. Oh, here's the bin bag Pokemon. Everyone's favorite. He's dead. The janitor is fighting with the garbage he's cleaning. There's <laughs> quite a few items he's picking up here. Some of it is down below, I just don't think I can get it yet. I'll have a command for the rules for next time as well. Uh, we went over at the start, but it's it's pretty standard. Honestly. I don't think there's anything too shocking in there. I have a rule that lets me, like, transfer a level 100 the Alga at some point later in the playthrough. Yeah, I just don't gloss over that fine print there.
can't get most of what the dowsing machine's picking up because they're past the water. So many poison types. Very standard Dialga Claws. It's, that, that's the thing. You see it all the time. It'd be a shame not to have it. You'd be weirded out. I think I want to just run. Yeah, I... Just, just get out. I'm not chancing this. I'm not playing these games. We get the full heal after every fight, which is great. But like, the game is gonna give me like a hard attack down here. Got be an item over here. Only babies run away. <laughs> it's just the the scenario of a double battle. It's like I just don't want to be there because something could go wrong. They already like our cat died already. Not the best start. fault is that? Oh, we got... We got a mean chatter in chat, guys. We got a meaner. We got a big meanie. Mr. Tough Stuff. I love it up to his standards. Anyway, let's kill this caterpillar. <laughs> oh, that made you sad and to apologize. If you want to remain in this Twitch chat, you have to write a to write me a letter now. Thousand words. Two thousand. And why you should be nicer to me? <laughs> Sometimes you're just playing with my feelings. Double space. Twelve font. New times. Roman. <laughs> you need to send like a whole essay. Oh, the leftovers are just sitting here. That's actually quite a good find. In here. It's a toxins built in the sewer system. I think I can use them to make medicine, so I'm running an experiment. This works, I might be able to use the Venom of Poison type Pokemon to make different medicines. How exciting. So, today's experiment was... Today's experiment was a success. At least except the Super Potion I made. Oh, that's cool. Keep experimenting every day. It's important to keep trying. Come back and see how it's going. I don't remember that at all. Chemist lady living down in the sewers. She's making mesh down here. Possibly. But we don't need to know. Just let the crime do its thing here. I'm gonna pop a repel. Just because there's so many encounters here. So we can get through it. Do I have a repel?
Okay, we can go along this way. It's such a maze down here. What is even the point of this room? <laughs> it's gotta be something here at some point. Good job, you found the empty room. This is the first game that actually asks you to use a repel, by the way, after one is worn off. Huge quality of life feature. This is the first time it actually happened in a Pokemon game. Isn't that a really nice thing they chucked in? New Dribbler. Why didn't you use one of the first encounter? Well, we were trying to get a first encounter. We wanted to try catch something, and we would have if it weren't for our rival. Regrettably. Okay, I'm already lost. There's nothing there. This path was a dead end. Yep, this is all dead ends. <laughs> Here go all the propels. Dead end. Item finder is just freaking out. Everybody looks at the dab save. I mean, it is a sewer system, you know? It's supposed to be a little confusing. Not exactly the most signposted thing. I'm just surprised there's so many people down here. There's a way to get to a secret garden through the sewers. I think we should have access to them, but I need to find the, the actual path. It's John Valjean simulator down here. What? Buddy, if you'll let me pass. That'd be great. There's something over to the left there. I think it's being blocked by the guy who dropped his contacts. Yeah, I think that's the path up, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's the way out. Okay, here's our spoon. What we were looking for, apparently. Here they are. <laughs> Game, please. There's <laughs> so many Zubats. If you drop your contacts in the sewers, you just get new contacts. Probably, yeah. Like, you know what? You have to put that in your eye again after this. What do you want? Team Plasma, you villains. What? Don't treat us like villains. Don't interfere with our plans to liberate Pokemon. Liberate? You're just ordinary Pokemon thieves. What's more, you use those stolen Pokemon like they're tools. Shut up. Hand over your Pokemon. Let's do this, success. Double battle. Bopping tunes. It's so good, the music. I, it actually makes me excited to fight these guys just because of the soundtrack. It's how you know it's good. Uh, we're gonna just, like, decimate them here. Savior grows in power for the gym. Really tough, but whatever. We got all the Pokemon we need. Now we flee. They run, they run away like Pat Rat. Okay, let's go further inside. There might be more in there. Only that's necessary, you two. 
The gym leader's just been waiting in this back alley. <laughs> I'm the same, I'm Burr. There was, someone, there was no one suspicious beyond here. That's so. Yes, indeedy. I'm concerned about Team Plasma as well. More importantly, shall we leave this place? For some reason, the sewer is bugging me. Didn't you and the other gym leaders fight Team Plasma two years ago? So you help. Here, use this. HM get. Yeah, why was he just waiting here? <laughs> he says he was looking further beyond, but I'm, I'm not buying that. He's gone. You there. Oh, it's our boy. That was an excellent demonstration of Batman. The way you brought out the power of your Pokemon against an opponent like Team Plasma. Astounding. Simply astounding. Interesting as well, I see. Nobody's suspicious. Here's like, you know, the scientist that looks like the Internet Explorer logo. Down in the sewers. It's like... I don't mind him, he's just working away. No, no matter, what are you gonna do? You can stay here and train your Pokemon. Maybe you should come and challenge me, the gym leader. He's seeing ya. And yeah, we can hop over here now and see if there's anything else to grab. Listen to him train the dog. We could train up the dog on the next gym a bit. We could. But again, I don't, I don't. I don't know if we're gonna use him in battle. He hasn't picked up anything in a while either. Getting worried. Might not get another normal. There's actually a guaranteed normal type encounter in this game. There is a guaranteed one from a hidden grotto. Okay. Now here's the important one for encounters. Do I want to encounter something in Relic Passage here? I think I can get... Um, a drill burr here. I want to just leave for now because I have no repels. There's, there is an uh, interactable Pokemon in Relic Passage, or like Relic Castle later. So that'll count as its own thing. We don't have to worry about that crossing over or anything. So that's like static in the world. Um, I think we probably... That's our first chance at a Dust Cloud. Oh, your man moved here too. Perfect. It's 20% Drillbert. It's 80% Drillbert, 20% Onyx. God, if we get the Onyx, that's going to make me so sad. We get the onyx, it's like, what do we do with you? And here is Castellia Garden. This is in the heart of the city. And there's grass, and you get an encounter for the city here. So there's a chance for Eevee in this grass, which is the most notable thing. This is where it all began for Castellia City. I believe you can also get Baneri. I think that's another one. Now, I'm going to need to swap this about. This one's a very rare. Very rare Pokemon. But, we can try go for it. We want to teach this savior. get rid of rage at last. We can do double grass for double chances too. Yep. I'll get repels later. Like we're we're not looking for shaking grass here, I don't think. Wait. Wait, hang on. EV is only level 19, so if you use a repel with a level 19 up front, EV is 100%. Are you... Really?
Okay, I kind of want to try that. That's a lucky coincidence if that's... I want to try that. Savior is level 19. We can actually manipulate it, so it's Eevee. It's only in the dark grass. We're going to try it. Yeah, I just need to make sure I don't fight anything else before then. That's fine. Where's the bloody exit? <laughs> Get me out of here. The escape rope will actually teleport me back to that garden I'm in, so I can't use the escape rope, I just have to run. Just brave the bats, they're relentless. <laughs> they're, they're out for blood. <laughs> it's just rats and bats. <laughs> you thought you could leave. Merciless. <laughs> the game, please. Okay, we're back out. Everything's fine and dandy. My friend, you seem pretty mad. Did everything go okay in the sewers? What are you gonna do now? You ran the gym leader burn the sewers, didn't you? Maybe you should go to the Pokemon gym and see how far you've come. I'm sure, battling will help you. Pokemon come to understand you better as a trainer, too. I gotta go get- I gotta get the Eevee. That's what I'm doing. I gotta get the Eevee, and then I'm gonna try and get a Drillbur. We could have our team be quickly stacked if we get this right. Like, just so much on it. Okay, let me buy. Still no super repels. Uh, just give me, give me ten of these. I think I have a rare bone too. I can just sell. Uh, I can sell all of these because I literally not allowed to use items in battle. So these are all useless. Five grand for a rare bone, pretty good. Um I'll go I'll go for twenty. That seems pretty good. It revives the cell? I do, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll clean up my inventory in that between streams. We don't have to worry about that at the moment. That's just like busy work in it. Okay, we just gotta get through here first. We'll go for the Eevee first then, because that's like a level thing. Make our way on over. Kana, you're gonna find a shiny along the way. I I doubt it. <laughs> Astronomical. I think they increased the shiny odds for this game. This is the first game where the shiny charm is introduced too. Get to that way later. Okay. So how we have to do this? Savior goes in the front. The XP share off just so there's no shenanigans and save. That was Gen 6, but the charm is in Gen 5. Okay. Let me see. So, just to make things easier for myself, too. Hang on. Sort. The free space. 
It's where we keep our repels now, so now we can keep easier track of them. Dark grass only. You gotta be worried of it shaking as well. How's your Pokemon experience going? Yeah, the grass is shaking over there for the regular grass. It works! Guaranteed Eevee for Castelia City. That's so cool. Okay, uh, just... <laughs> let's be cheeky. Go, Pokeball! <laughs> Uh, I think Incinerate is probably best. Don't hit it with physical. Okay. We can- we can hit it with a little bit of physical. Forty-six goes to thirty-three. That's a lot of damage. I think I just try catch it from here. I'm kind of scared to weaken it more. Zinc crit range. No, it's not gonna go in the ball at that stage. Why doesn't anything want to be cast? <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't want to go. Okay, and that's getting too close to save here, so I'm gonna switch. Seventy-one goes to sixty-two. It's hitting for a surprising amount of damage. I can chance a fury cutter. You just only do one of these. Okay, with the growl, I can now do a second one. I think. It's worth a chance, and the catch rate is so low on this that we have to try and weaken it. Get in the ball! <laughs> Thank you. Whew. Scary stuff. EV acquired. Okay, um, we'll call this one victory. Victory the Eevee. Because I think like we named the Victini defeat before. And we caught this one, like, Castelia-ish. Okay, let's 
check some stats on it. Rash nature. Okay, so it's up special attack. Could do a Jolteon, honestly. Jolteon or Espeon are probably the ones that are best suited it. Like, maybe a Glaceon. Trying to think of a way to, like, maximize its strength. Vaporeon? We have Samurai. Uh, so we don't want Vaporeon. Yeah. Jolteon or Espeon, I think, are probably going to be the strongest ones there. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, we, we got... We got... We're getting, like, a stacked team. Look at all this. It's level 19, too, which is actually quite good. Let's use some of our water. Let's heal on up. I can I can even heal the Eevee actually, because I can I can just use the Eevee. There we go. Okay, happy days. So I still want to level up. Actually, cause Save Savior is gonna be fighting in the next gym, isn't he? So Probably pop the XP share on victory. There it is. Pop that there. That seems that seems good. Oh, we have a high level team now. We sort it for this gym. The next gym's type is bug. So like it's it's basically gonna be uh, Aramaka taking doing the most of the work. It's like bug grass a lot of stuff too, so it's like really good. Yeah, Eevee's a good Eevee's a good pickup. The game is blessing us with options. Okay, so relic passage. I think we're just looking for a dust cloud in here. Uh, I mean, there's a trainer we can fight too, so we might as well. If you here means that you're also part of the sewer. All right, then I will survey you too. Only one Pokemon, Grimer. After all that good luck, it's probably time for Onyx. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's alright. It is what it is. I have some usable things. We have a lot of money coming in too, thanks to the amulet coin. Feel. Escape rope. Looking for a dust cloud, please. Can't go that way anymore. Fight you. British necktie, thank you for the thousand bits. I just finished my degree in engineering and I want to thank you for all the content over the last four years. You've helped me get through some really difficult times and classes. Best of luck in this Nuzlocke. Thank you very much. Congrats on your degree. It's amazing. I was originally going for engineering. Um, we're gearing up for that and it, before I change gears to English. Congrats though. Wishing you all the best. PGT, thank you for the thousand earlier as well. Type of engineer. There was like a general en engineering course at Trinity. Like I, 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 I don't really remember at this point. This was a very long time ago. <laughs> like ten years when I would have looked at this. I can't remember the name of it. Totally love the Wow Walk TV show, but they took it off the air. Hard times with this poor man. 
go over here. I can't. Is there not a single dust cloud? Uniform engineer and entered English graduate as the Drift King. <laughs> Basically, yes, I, I got my degree in drifting. That's the, that's the real outcome of uh, higher level education for myself. Not chance in that poison point. That explains a lot. What are you insinuating? Do tell! You gonna talk shit about me? On my Twitch channel? Yeah, that's fair. Where's a single dust cloud? It's been none. Is it time to go back and get the pass power for dust clouds? <laughs> it might be. Like, there's nothing here. Okay, there's one. What we got? Not an onyx. There's our friend. Drillbur acquired. God, we're getting so many pickups today. Quick ball. We can be cheeky about this. There we go. The team has just been fleshed out. Hello, Excadrill, my friend. Okay, now what would be the opposite of, like, Calamity? It has to be a different naming scheme. Miracle? I guess if a calamity, excuse me, is time of unprecedented disaster, miracle kind of works. Welcome aboard, miracle. You follow in a line of excadrills that have all since perished. See what we got on this as well. Brave. It hurts, but the attack is still up, so it's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's unfortunate because you really need speed on this thing. Um, but the attack is high at least. Ability didn't matter so much. Sand force or sand rush, like you're, you're rarely gonna be fighting under a sandstorm. But, yeah, we, I mean, we can survive. It's, it's nothing that's not workable. Crucially, it is another 14 member that, like, we can actually use, too. So I'm gonna, the, the goal here is to get everything to level 20. What level did, Mir did this evolve into Excadrill again as well? Like, we could just roll up to Elisa again with this as an Excadrill. <laughs> Rock slide. It was 31, wasn't it? Yeah, like, that's, that's really doable. That's really doable. I think even XP share wise, we just start banking it on Miracle. Because Ex Excadrill is just so strong. Once Excadrill is up, Excadrill can tank a lot.
Yeah, we can delay to 33 again and get Earthquake. It's it's what we did before. It's what we just straight up did before. Like, it works. Oh, pfft. bye, friend. That's a good feeling. We've had a shaky start with this run, but I feel like from here, we've set ourselves up very well. It just depends on how disaster strikes. We finally have a decent team. Like we do? Any pickups? No pickups. Jolteon's probably the one we get then, because we can just evolve that with a stone as well. I don't know if we really want Espeon. I feel like Espeon might be just too frail and not hitting enough stuff. Could be good though, too. I think Jolteon might just be better though. Nothing could go wrong from this point. Exactly! Things can only go well now. Umbreon's a tank though? Ah, uh, the Pokemon's got like special defense down and special attack up. It makes sense to play to the, the Pokemon strength. Especially on something like Eevee. Oh, look at this. So this is the artsy gym. This one's got a very different vibe. Here's a fresh water. The name of this gym is none other than cocoons. You got upward by going inside the cocoons and traveling up the threads. The threads are uh, definitely connected to Burr eventually. Hey, savior, it's your time to shine. Just get sucked into the cocoons. They're like hoovers. We want to fight every single challenger. So a lot of them are going to be using bug slash grass type, which fire is times four effective against. So we're going to have like a really lovely time here. Uh, the main thing that might impose us is simply Hustle, because it's lower in the accuracy of our moves. That's so much attack, it's 45 already. Firefang does get a boost from Hustle as well, because I believe it has a chance to flinch, I think, or burn? It has a chance for one of them. But it's going to be even more power now thanks to our ability. It's kind of spooky, ain't it? <laughs> it's hatching. The clowns are hatching. Oh god. A bug clown. I can just use Fire Fang quite liberally here, and then we just get to the end and restore power points. Seven damage. Yeah, we can tank a fair bit. Swadloon, it's times four a week. It just dies. Last time we did this gym, we had to roll in with an Ardino. It was wild. Miracle grows in power. Miracle has 41 attacks out already. That's actually really high. That's so much. I want to go back down because I think there's one up on that left side there. Actually, no, no, those, those both just lead down. Okay. Gotta go this way. I love, like, the gym theme remixes you get in this game, too. There's, like, some real surreal ones.
slurpy cocoons. Is it worth getting XP share? It is for Drillbur. Because once Drillbur is strong enough, Drillbur will be able to destroy everything. Excadrill, like, Excadrill is so damn good in this game. And it's like, it's a powerful Pokemon, it's almost guaranteed, so like, for Nuzlocke, it's very friendly to even pick one up. Oh, Dweeble, um... It's Rock-type, ain't it? I think I still just hit it with Fire Fang, I think that's the most power. Rock Bug. That's actually a little worrying. Our accuracy is already very low. We could just do a safety switch. It's dwebble like pebble. I called him a dweeb. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer my way I pronounce it. Dweeble. <laughs> I prefer my way. Oh, he's biting us. Isn't that from Bug Snacks? I think there was one in that called Dweevil, yeah. I think there was. In the cocoon. Get slurped. It's one step away from being able to challenge him. Or I have to try stop you. Give us that XP. Like use some swad loons or something. Like those those are lovely for us. I think I can stay in here as long- Oh no! Okay, get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Get the fuck out! That's- that's too dangerous. Oh, he's faster than God now, hang on. Take him out. I do not like being called Dweeble. Miracle grows in power. Miracle hungers. Okay, but this is annoying now, because now I don't actually really have a good answer to this. The savior's so badly hurt. I can just return, and I should be alright. I think it should be a two-shot. God, he's forgetting that he's a grass type. 64 to 49. That's more than I'm comfortable with. I, I don't really have another option. Critical hit will just take care of any risk here. Calculate it. A okay, water pulse, that's just better than a water gun, yeah. We're good. And this takes you to the top, to the painterly cocoon. Which I'm just gonna quickly exit. Because I need to go and heal. I think that one might stay open after. Had you give me heart attacks. But your heart's still beating. So it's okay, really. Okay, so if he has a Dweeble, then I need to make sure I switch that in. What does he lead with? Is it Dweeble or like Swadloon? That actually kind of determines how we start this fight ourselves.
He leads with Swadloon. Okay, if he leads with Swadloon, that's fine. We just leave with Savior. Uh, I'm gonna give Savior, I can Oranberry. Just in case he gets too much damage on him. I mean, we're, we're in a pretty good spot for this. Ah, uh, yes, he leads with Genesect. Oh, no. We're in a lot of trouble. Save it here. This challenge mode, we couldn't do challenge mode because it's weird how it works with keys in this game. I did try. I'm playing on physical hardware. I tried to transfer, it didn't work. Is what it is. We're gonna enable it later in the run. Once we get it. Yeah, I think yeah, I think we're as ready as we can be. Good work back there in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon have been scaring me with excitement of getting to battle you. So my bug type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let me brag a little. Bubbles around little eyes are cute, it's resilient and reliable. My ace is Levani, it's really the best. It's so sweet how how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Oh, let's get right to it. Don't lead with the dweeb. That's all I ask. No dweeb. In the clear. The thing is with this, it is Fire Fang. And it just eviscerates him. Miracle wants to learn dig. That actually might be good as even as a field move. I'm not gonna be using rapid spin, I can tell you that much. Here's the dweeb! Okay, so don't don't chance anything on the dweeb. Simply switch for safety. Because, yeah, he's just going for it. <laughs> we don't like that. Oh, yeah, she has sturdy, too. That's cute. I'll simply attack again. I don't think Sturdy can activate twice. No, <laughs> never mind. Okay, we'll just exhaust all the zeal in here. Okay. I think I just hired Switch. And I'm hoping it's alright! <laughs> There's no other way to really do it. Here is our savior. Okay, 65 health goes to- Oh my... God! But that's all right, unless he crits again, we live and we win. Right? Land the fire. Oh! Times four week! We got it! <laughs> oh, we're living so dangerously! Yeah, I'll pick a fire punch. That seems, that seems good. You, the berry saved us. <laughs> Nano, it's good to see you too. How you doing? Uh, it's more accurate, does more power, has the same chance. Yeah, get rid of Fire Fang, Fire Punch.
We did it! We won another battle with no stress! <laughs> oh yeah, because the amulet Cody pays like six grand. Very strong indeed. I guess it's no surprise that I lost. Take this insect badge, I think it'll suit you. Badge get. Three down. My anxiety? <laughs> The thing is, because we've still got to fight Clay as well. Clay is always, like, one of the most stressful gym leaders in this game. So, like, we're really not in the clear for quite some time. I get Struggle Bug. Go and heal. Is he doing chat? Is he dead yet? Um... No, just, uh, it's on life support, but... Hanging in there. Okay, let's go, let's go heal up our Pokemon, because they desperately need help. Don't worry, you always have the Dialga Claws. It's true. If things go really bad, we have the Dialga Claws. You can always bring them in. Doing terrific, here's some metal. It's got a few for us this time. Like, so if you avoid talking to this guy for a while, basically when you do finally say hey, he'll essentially hold you hostage. Because he'll have so much to say. So you gotta be careful, you really need to make sure you pay attention to him every now and then, otherwise if you, when you accidentally talk to him, you're gonna be there forever. Uh, pick up some healing items. We have so much money. Actually, even afford a few hyper potions. That's actually wild. Ambulate coin makes such a difference. Great balls. I think we're fine. We don't actually need to carry as many Pokeballs just because it's a Nuzlocke. Like, we're, we're very rarely going to be able to catch Pokemon. We'll get a few more just in case. Oh, Jesus. I think we leave it there for tonight, though. I think that's enough anxiety. <laughs> We've almost died quite a few times. But I'm glad the run is still going strong. I think that's the best point to wrap up for tonight. But thank you so much for coming by the stream. Uh, thank you uh, to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Like, thank you in particular for the bits tonight. Like, Jesus, you guys gave an awful lot tonight. Like, look at that. Like, that's just like a streak of thousands. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you to the mods, as ever, of course, for being on hand. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, we will be continuing this on Thursday. This is going to be the next big stream thing the next while. Uh, pretty much all of this week, I think it's just this. It might be something that crops up over the weekend, but I'm pretty sure it's just this the next while. Uh, if you want more to watch from me, too, the Zelda highlights are all prepared for YouTube. They'll be releasing over the next few days. There'll be a new one up tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be live on Thursday next. Schedule, you can just check it as ever. It's in the description of every video. Gollum weekend, baby. <laughs> I'm tempted to play it at some point just because of such a, tr what a train wreck of a game it seems. But I also understand from like a terrible meme that just spiders in it. So, I also can't play this piece of shit game, apparently. So. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll have to miss out on the experience. Oh well. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed tonight. Uh, let me see who's still streaming. I can leave you in someone's care. Uh, Kelly's playing Zelda? I'll leave you in Kelly's care. 
sounds like a good time. Go wish her well. Don't spoil anything. I know we finished it on our channel. Do not spoil anything. My solicitor will be on to you. Thanks for coming, gang. <laughs> Just, here's a legal threat. Thanks for watching, gang. Nice cheery note to end the stream on. Have a good night. I'll see you all Thursday. Take care.